Sometimes we do. Yeah. Sometimes. You know, you know, we have to talk every time. I can't even get a word in. They interrupted so our conversation. Why are we anyway? clapping? That was so rude. That was awesome. I'm trying that to have a like conversation here. Line. That was badass. Jeff and I are trying to talk here, but you have people yelling yeah. and screaming about mm. nothing. Someone took my seat. What? <laughs> I was sitting down in the audience and I saw all the guys on stage. I was like, I should probably be there. <laughs> Jack's bad. got news. Jack's got news. Oh, yeah, it's the, the Finn thing. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Showing him new tower. Hey, There's welcome. This is off buildings. topic. Some episode, I don't know. They didn't, let's see, did they tell let's me? Let's say five. No. They didn't. Ballpark. Yeah, let's no, go They low. didn't put it. This is some episode. Uh, we are live, live, super live, here in Austin. <laughs> live audience. Wow. At... The beautiful sunset room in downtown Austin. Thank you guys for coming to join us here. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Quip, Blue Apron, and Devil May Cry 5. It's a video Ooh. game. Ooh. It's a video game. I haven't heard of it. Uh, I am your host, Michael Jones. Joining us on today's very special episode, we've got Jeff Ramsey. <laughs> sure. All right, knock that shit off. Jack Patillo. <laughs> Alfredo the Sauce Diaz. <laughs> and Jeremy, not a fan of Borderlands Dooley. <laughs> he likes he likes the game a lot. Yeah, this is your new thing, I feel like. Because like you hit it immediately. Today you show me something you love and I'll smash it down. You do. You do that. When I got that guitar, right, the custom made guitar in Awu. I just unzipped the top because I couldn't help myself. I really pulled. You, I really pulled a Ryan with Awu where I couldn't wait till Awu to open it, and like I unzipped the top and I looked at the neck of the guitar and I saw the purple and orange stripes on it, and I looked at you and went, "Please don't break this." <laughs> I knew that all you would want to do is destroy you it. You went like this. You opened it. Went. <gasps> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was nervous. I was like, Michael's going to see this, and I won't even open the bag before he's broken it. But yeah. it was fine. It was, it was fine. only the top. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have bothered me. The room's a dangerous place, hammered, huh? man. Yeah, it's so dangerous. dangerous. My face knows. God. <laughs> yeah, who broke my computer? We don't Matt, know. Matt Bragg. I went away for a vacation. Uh, I was gone for, what, a week? And a week, two days about, or something yeah. like that. And I came back, and my computer doesn't work. Now, immediately, you were asking me about what shenanigans went on. I calmed your mood with an energy drink. You did. That was awesome. Okay. You had me. But I appreciate uh, that. But you know, Jeff immediately is like, "Who hit it with a moon ball? Who took a sledgehammer I know, to it?" I know. Listen, computer works when I leave. Doesn't work when I come back. It's in that room. I know somebody smashed but, it. And so I was sitting there going like, I was really trying to think what shenanigans happened that could have caused it. But Gavin's not in the office, so moon balls have been light. All right. There hasn't been a lot of yeah, moon balls. There's been a shit. lot of bell balls though. No, I don't think bell balls were like. Because Gavin hasn't been yeah, Gavin, there all Gavin week. Yeah, Gavin is, he's the one that instigates a lot he of that. He is Bellball. Well, Ryan, too. I guess it's less. Bellball, by the way. Ryan's more stabby, though. Yeah. Or shooty. Yeah. That's what he got rid of. He, he calmed down when he got rid of all the guns. We had to take all the guns out of the office because, because of Ryan. Ryan. He sh just yeah. shoots Gavin in the face once. Airsoft gun. Yeah, he um. shot him out the door and he hit him. <laughs> <laughs> it was we, uh, it's, it's a stealth ball out yet? It's really funny. What's that? It's stealth ball out? Stealth ball's not out yet. Oh, my God. So, you know, we have flinchless kicky do, flinchless. Whatever. Whatever it's called do. stand still and get blasted. It's the called ball. Yeah. this one's called flinchless stealthy do, which means that we painted a moon ball black and turned out the lights. <laughs> but that's not it. That's not it. Wasn't there also like goggles? Oh yeah, no, we, oh, you we, weren't there. No, we, I was, I we, wore there. Safe, we wore safety goggles, aka my sunglasses. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had my I had safety mask. hand. And then we had the, yeah. we actually took our night vision cameras from That's the Haunter was. I knew yeah. there was and shot it involved. in the dark. And we did a firing squad, and then we had everybody throw them at once, oh, and then you mistake. have to stand there. Yeah, oh, and yeah. the thing, you just could not see it. Well, because the what thing is, uh, Trevor and I were kind of uh, playing with this new paint. We were going to try to use it for morning show show, and it ended up not being something we could use, but it was called Black 2.0 was the name of the paint. And it's like really dark paint. I don't know if you've ever heard of Vanta Black or not. Have you heard of that? It's like, Van a, it's like a compound that people made that's, it absorbs like 99.9% .9 of light. It's like, like a, yeah, it's like blacker than black. Yeah, it's insane. Like if you put something... A, a Vanta Black background and something painted in Vanta Black over it, you can't see that anything's there. It just yeah. looks like a square. So we tried this Black 2.0, hoping it would have, like, it would be really dark, it would absorb light. Didn't really do it. We painted a moon ball with it. 
But what happened is when you turn the lights out and hold it up to our black walls, you just don't even see that you're holding something. <laughs> yeah. So oh, there, we there kept it is. throwing the stealth. Uh, that's Vanta Black right there, which is insane. It looks Photoshopped. Yeah, looks fake. Uh, when you throw the stealth ball, it's gone. Yeah. I mean, but the fact is, the lights are out. You could throw a yellow moon ball and it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. And the worst part is, we just kept losing the stealth ball because we throw it and it'd be gone. Well, I, I had the, and I had the, the the lights. Like, I, we have a remote thing for our lights, and I had that with me. So I turn the lights off. We'd throw. And then we'd throw a few times, and he'd turn the lights off, and then so or turn the lights back on, and someone would be on the ground. Like every time, it was like, oh, Gavin must have got hit by something. You'd hear a scream, and then you'd turn it on the lights, and somebody would be on the ground. I'll be honest with you guys, I hid on the ground a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> we would throw those lights, I'd be like, fuck it, I'm down. Oh. I, I got you in the back one time as you went to hide. Yeah. It's, it's a really good moment. I got, I got a good hit on Jeremy. I got hit in the chest a couple of times. Gavin took a lot of damage. Gavin got it hard. He was on the ground for like an hour yeah. when he got hit in the dick. Yeah. And he's like, that's the hardest I've ever been hit in the dick in my life. My, yeah. my but he was laughing and that. crying at the same time. My favorite part about that is he didn't know it was coming. I don't want to spoil the video too much, but... You threw it, the one oh. that hit him. Did, <laughs> Did you I? not know that? Because <laughs> Jeff was holding a bunch of moon balls, and he goes, stealth ball, and he threw it, and like it bounced off somewhere, and everyone was laughing about where it hit, and very quietly under it, you can hear Jeff go, stealth ball again, and he threw it like that, and it just bounced up into Kevin's crotch. <laughs> And, and we threw like 10 more before we turned on the lights and realized he was on the floor. <laughs> it's very, it, it, the, the night vision cameras do a lot of work, but it was pitch black. The best part is, is yeah. we were just listening to Drake before that. So Jamie just goes, you used to call me on my staff by throws. <laughs> <laughs> I, did like, oh! I did do that with Neil so much. That was me. That yeah, was I hit Jack. Jack right in the arm. Oh! I want to do that again. That was fun. Stealth that ball was fun. is fun. It is fun. It's a good time. That's, it's, I'm like... I saw that because like a lot of times when videos are getting worked on, they get posted like on a, a channel that we can all see. We have like, like a review channel. So I've been, <laughs> I've been uh, like Coke knows, um, different the Coke the soda knows. Um, yeah. Just also like I I someone mentioned that and I was like Coke knows. I'm like I don't know what that is. And someone was like Yeah, you were there. I'm like I was there. <laughs> Wait, was I driving by? And like yeah. yeah. I'm like it was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> and then someone's like Yeah, Alfredo didn't work here yet. And I was like, Jesus Christ, that was a long time ago. A lot of people were asking on Reddit today. Holy like, shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> he literally goes, oh. it's Drink right, down, buddy. it's just ice. Just ice. Uh, and somebody was like, what's the fucking thought process behind waiting a year and a half to put this out? And I responded, I was like, listen, I'll be honest with you. We just forgot we shot it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Else was like, What's the thought process behind shooting stuff? How do you end up forgetting you shot something for a year and a half? How many? It was, we shoot so much go, stuff. Go, go. And the way it's supposed to work is, somebody has an idea for a live action video, we all film it, and then we immediately go and upload our footage off our phones. The way it really works is, it should be. we have to run to a podcast, and I have to run to a meeting, and somebody someone, has to go get lunch. Someone films it, and then they leave the country. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's how it happens. Yeah. That's literally yeah. what happens. And then you get three quarters of the footage, uh -huh. and you're like, we'll get the other part when somebody gets back from Australia or whatever. Yeah. And then you look up, and it's been a year and a half. Yeah. I remember that day in particular. It was you were uh, leaving early. For it me. was you fucking around with it. It wasn't, wasn't that early. You guys were just staying late. It was Coke yeah. news. It was, it was the was end like of the 445 day. Uh, it was the end of the day, and I was like, I gotta get out of here. And they were like, All right, we're about to do this. And I'm like, I don't want to miss it. So come on, do it. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm like lingering forever. There was a lot of press. And finally, I'm like, that. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. So I get in my car as I'm driving away. Everyone's outside coke nosing i'm like all right so coke i just roll nosing. i roll up in the car and roll down the window and watch it happen i'm like cool and then i drove <laughs> has anyone watched coke nose yet? did that come out oh wow look at how oh. few if you haven't seen it it's we took the the idea of mentos and coke and put it in jeremy <laughs> basically it was drop these mentos in this diet coke and then put your mouth over it and see what happens and no joke, I blacked out. <laughs> I, watched, I watched the video after it happened, right? And I went, I don't remember this. It takes exactly yeah, but two we, liters of Coke going into your brain to black you out. We didn't remember it either, though. So Yeah, it's, it's true. Just I everywhere. wasn't there for, I don't know where I was, but you my were God, it looked brutal. It was pretty brutal. It looked vicious. Yeah, it but, was, I, but I think we remembered it because Gavin goes, uh, hey, let's watch that video again. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? Oh, shit. <laughs> and then we Googled it and it wasn't out. I think Coke Nose was on. We have like a spreadsheet Coke stuff knows. that we record. And I think I think it said Coke Nose on there for a while. Yeah. And we didn't make a video out of it because we didn't decide if there was something we want to add to it or not. But also because people saw Coke Nose on there and were like, 
I don't know what this is, but I don't think we can release it. It's going to get demonetized fast. Yeah. Hey, what was the name of that game we played this morning? Coke Nose. No. <laughs> You're talking about the Let's Roll. Yeah. One, one time. One Night Super Villain? One Night, yeah. Fuck. One, one night, night Ultimate, ultimate Super Villain. One Night. Fuck, ultimate it was good. Super so have, has anyone watched the Let's Roll of One Night Ultimate Werewolf? Yeah. Yeah, so imagine that, but instead of werewolves being the bad guys, it's super villains. And, and superheroes. And, and they're superheroes instead of like villagers. And it's essentially the same game. There's someone who's trying to get themselves killed and pretend to be the bad guy. There's like all these heroes with different powers, like switching cards and stuff like that. It went awry fast. It's, 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 so a, it's the same game, but it's not, because it's twice it was, as good. It was fun. fun. So how many did we have in One Night Ultimate Werewolf? Did we have eight? We had eight. I don't think we had that many. And that guy. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, Sarah, we had eight in that one. So who did we replace? Oh, we replaced Gavin, Gavin and we replaced someone Fiona. else. No, Fiona was in. Oh, Ryan, maybe. No. Oh, were you in Werewolf? No. One Ultimate Werewolf? No, I was in Kuda. Yeah, oh, we're not talking, no, we're not talking about Ku. I know, but Ku is Stop. Anyways, we added. Um, but I'm a Duke, though. We yeah, added Fiona and Jack. <laughs> so we. Uh, uh, Lindsay was in. Oh, Lindsay. So we replaced Lindsay and we replaced the other one you said, Gavin. Gavin, that's his name. With uh, Jack and Fiona. But that's and not why it's better. It's just. It was it's a, I mean, well, a little bit. we replaced Gavin. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Lindsay's awesome. I missed Lindsay in that because Lindsay was. Right there. Un, there she is. Uh, Lindsay was impossible to predict. I lied. Oh, she's, she's over back there. There. She's there she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, was, she didn't really want to watch the show. Don't yell. This isn't about you. Go home. <laughs> I'm kidding. Michael, Who's you need a ride. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You need to Just drive me home. Just crate them, give them enough food and water uh, and litter. And then we, we put them in a room with a drain. We put them in a crate. They're oh, fine. There you go. Yeah. It drips every now and again, and they, they drink. Do you have one of those little like, <laughs> hamster things where it's like you know, the water no, bottles upside just down? it's just a water pipe that goes oh. overhead, and it uh, drips every oh, now and then. Oh, it's a pool. Yeah, no. With a hint of lead. Something I feel like we've almost done wrong is we've trained Fiona at this point to be really good at lying. Yeah, we played a lot of right. coup with Fiona. We played this with Fiona. We played Trouble and Terrorist Town with Fiona. She's and good she's at it. good at it. And yeah. she's like, she's like yeah, angry she's, she's lying. From, well, she's, she's from, an angry liar. Scary. Well, she's from New York. Yeah. So like angry liar. She's like, what? And yeah. you're like, I, yeah, I yeah, know, yeah, I can't I'm sorry. It. You're you're innocent. I'm sorry. Innocent. You're, yeah, I'm sorry. You're, you're, yeah. You're, yeah. No, okay. You're not yeah. a super villain. Mm. Absolutely. Not and yet. also, I just, I don't know why I have this aura around me. Yes, you do. You don't know oh, why. You know exactly what why. do you mean? Okay, if you were to describe Jeremy in one word, you would be call him one, two, three. Liar. Liar. Okay, now answer. wait a second. <laughs> yeah. 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 See? I, See? I would be totally innocent, and there's people who have like certain superpowers and stuff like that, and there'd be like five superpowers used on me <laughs> yeah. to decide what I was. And I'm like, yeah. this is a guy. The like, what do you is, want from me? Jeremy is a supervillain regardless of the cards. Yeah. So you yeah. have to focus on him. It's like if Jeremy and He's Ryan like, really that. teamed up, like Battle Buddies would take over the planet. It's the same way in well, that. It would be that fucking scary. Fucking monster game. What oh. is it? Deceit? Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, my He's God. He's a piece yeah. of shit. Fredo is dirty. You got Fredo. See, Fuck what, you. What are, you. what are you talking about? Deceit. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Dude, right. it's also, you mentioned, by the way, you were out and your computer was destroyed. Matt did it, for sure. Oh, yeah. But, His cough um, went, turned I came into a in, digital virus. You know, I, I, I was out, like, two weeks, and uh, I come back, and I'm just, like, chit-chat in the office, and I'm looking, I'm like, is this hole in my desk here? Why is there a hole in my desk? And Jeremy goes, ooh. And I was just like, what happened? Like, again, like your desk, it's like, oh, moon ball. This video, that video, yeah. and I go, what happened? He's like, I'm gonna be honest, I had a sledgehammer, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just hit it. Dude, it was for it nothing. Was weird. For nothing. It wasn't even a video. I just hit your desk with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Jer Jeremy and I were just standing over your desk. We were like having a conversation with like Jack and Ryan, and he's just standing there next to me with a sledgehammer. And mid sentence, like I'm talking, he just goes, <laughs> I go, what the fuck? The permanent. <laughs> He goes, I don't know. At least when I did Jeremy's desk, it was like a bit because he was supposed to be hiding. I'm like, oh, Jeremy's out here. I'll hit his desk. No. And he was under it. No one was filming. And I told Michael, I was like, listen, dude, I don't know what happened. Like, I know I did it, but I don't know what happened up there. You know what happened. You don't know why. I don't yeah. know why it happened. And I was like, and honestly, after I did it, I went, I'm just going to blame Matt. Yeah. <laughs> you told me that, that too. The first, yeah, I told you You told you me that. that. You were like, I did it. I was going to blame Matt, but I told you. 
<laughs> the thing is, I'm great at lying in games. In real life, I'm awful at it. Mm. I can't do it. But in, in video games, I'll be whoever I fucking want to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my edge back as far as the room goes because of Sarah. Right? Because... Oh, yeah. Because I just lie to her. There's Anytime a thing you she can ever... do called a weems. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime she ever asks me a question, it's either sarcasm or just a flat-out lie. And I would say half the time, if not more, she accepts that and walks away and goes, wait a minute. And then turns around. <laughs> so, like, again, going back to the game we played today, the, the One Night Supervillain, I don't remember what the fuck we were talking about. We were talking about something. The camera's all rolling. Sarah always asks a question, and if she asks a question, I feel the need to lie to her. So I did that, and she was like, she'll always immediately start to answer for it or defend her reasoning. Like, listen, okay, so the reason... Wait a minute, are you fucking with me? And I literally just went to her, a year, Sarah! You've been here a year! <laughs> and what's, what's bad is, Michael, he'll nail me with this every now and again. And Sarah just makes it worse. Because when Sarah starts to believe it, I go, well, maybe he's telling the truth. And I, I forget what it was the other day, but I was like, uh, not the other day, but like the last time I really believed you. I was talking about some actor or something, and I was like, oh, you know, like in this guy, he's like done whatever. And you were like, oh, what's that? What's that movie he was in? Oh, I was talking about um, yeah, Kronk. Yeah. Because someone was talking about my Patrick Warburton impression. And I was like, yeah, you know, I do the Patrick Warburton thing and blah, 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 blah. And you were like, what? He was in a Disney movie, wasn't he? I was like, yeah. And you were like, oh, what was that? It was like, it was like Emperor's, uh, Emperor's like smooth moves or something. <laughs> I was like, and, and I went, no. The, the was... stick is like this, though, because Jeremy's right next to me. I'm right next to Michael. And we're closer than this. Yeah. And I just don't look at him. I'm like, man, what was that? That was, uh, I'm playing a game or something. I'm like, Emperor's new, new something. What was it? <laughs> and then I literally go, I, I was like, no, it's like Emperor's new. And then it usually goes like this. And I look at him to see if he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does that. <laughs> he does that exact thing. And, and I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> when you start to answer me, I've won. You've already yeah. won. That's it. <laughs> like, do what you must. I've already won. <laughs> God damn it. It's a sad life. <laughs> but it's ours. You, get, you got so that's it? Yeah, you that's good? it. Right. <laughs> seven. Wrap it up. <laughs> Woo, look at the time. Out. It's warm in here. How many guys going to RTX? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Buy your tickets. I'm not going. We, we, we can announce, so we, we talked about it during the VIP Q&A. Uh, Achievement Hunter Live is happening the Thursday night, July 4th. Fuck yeah, America. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. And we, we announced uh, during the Q&A, oh, fuck, we'll do it here too. Uh, we're doing it at the Moody Theater, which is the ACL Theater in Austin, which is super badass. I don't know if we're allowed to announce it, but I'm announcing again. There you go. That usually, so, you usually announce stuff you can't announce. Yeah. No, I he don't did. announce stuff. I specifically don't announce that thing. Yeah. So, Jeff, don't tell everyone. That's what I got in trouble for last year was for not announcing that we were going to England. Did you really? <laughs> no, I said I can't announce that we're all collectively going to England so you didn't in, uh, in October. No, I didn't announce it. So no. I said we're problem? not going to be not there October 15th to 17th. We're not going to do a live stream on the 14th. 13th. We're so not going to do They this. were mad because you didn't announce it, and they wanted you to. I don't understand what they were mad yeah. about. They told me not to announce it, so I didn't. So anyway, we're going, to, we're going to the first, where we did our very first Let's Play Live. We're going back there, so that's a pretty cool for AH Live. circular thing for Achievement Hunter Live. It's going to be more focused. <laughs> right. yeah, Keep drinking, More Jack. focused just on up. Achievement Hunter. We're going to have some special up. friends, special guests come in, but for the most part, it's going to be the Achievement Hunter crew up on stage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's who you care about, right? I mean, I don't know. Like at this point, it's impossible to know the run of show and stuff like that. Like we don't have that refined. Well, we'll use like the Australia run of show until yeah. we get. Yeah, we'll tweak it a little bit. We may bit. take like I'm doing stand up. We're doing like a kind of funny comedy night again, and you're doing stand up. Yep. Okay. Are you uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we're Jeff, gonna make a Jeff, okay. bad move. Don't announce. Oh, that I got Alfredo some shit written about you guys. Doing stand up. I'd like to rescind my announcement. Don't, Alfredo don't tell everyone that Alfredo's not doing, doing stand up. Jeff, that's July. Hang on, Jeremy 5th. has a question. Six. Jeremy, yeah. question. Can um can we do improv again? Me and yes. Trevor and Alfredo Please. and Ryan at AH Life. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the run of the show can be the exact same. I was just gonna say I'm probably not gonna do stand up there because I'll be doing it again the next night at. Ah. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna well, we can stuff take a little in. bit. We're gonna replace theater mode with Let's Roll if we can figure out how to do it well. Um, wow, that, that was one an audible gasp. Pretty yeah. Someone, very someone, excited. Someone oh, might... oh, are we playing coup? Can we play coup? Yeah. yeah. 
Jeremy, I'm Jeremy, gonna dress up like a it's motherfucking Jeremy, dude. Buddy, it's our show. If we, if, we, if Jeff's not doing stand up, we can do one night ultimate too. Yeah, Jeff, I was so sad the other day. I got to point out because um, I was like talking to Cat. I was like, oh, we should have another coup night. We have yeah. coup nights in our house where we invite a bunch of people over and we just I've play coup. I've never been invited. Bunch of, um, <laughs> not once. <laughs> Correct, Michael. but okay. But <laughs> in fairness, I've invited Jeremy to I've invited Jeremy to dinner ten times, and every wait time, ten times not thought after a ten. He doesn't come. He's like, ah, I can't. I, can, I had oh, I had I Swedish can't. meatballs I got with a, Denise, and I got it was a delicious. Foot surgery. Oh, I can't make it. And then this guy's having coup nights left and right, and I'm just sitting at home with my you got stupid, a foot surgery? Stupid kids. Listen, feet feet do stuff. My mom just got foot surgery. Um, we uh, walking like a pro though. But I was like. I was Probably talking about it with Kat. A lot of practice. You know, yeah. Kat and I are talking about coup night because we did coup for uh, mm. Alienware recently here. Actually. Yeah, yeah, in this like, we live that door. Right, literally right out this door here, um, at South by Southwest. And so I was like, Kat, we like we were talking about it. She's like, I want to have people over. We have coup night, and I'm like, Jeff loves coup. Yeah, Jeff he does. Loves coup. I was like, we gotta get Jeff over here. We gotta get him in some coup. And then uh, like when we came down to be at the event, I was like, Jeff, are you around next weekend? You're like. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. I'm sorry. It was the moment. But oh, we'll, we'll, more, we'll more coup nights, and you'll be there. Who, you this haunt, haven't played coup yet. Do you need someone to fill in for Jeff? You haven't, <laughs> you haven't been in a coup yet. I've been, Michael hasn't been in a coup yet. I think I was at Jeremy's house one yet. time. and you gotta I gotta get must, him in must, it. I soured him yeah. or something. I, I wish coup was I more saw his controller wall, and I was like, that's really cool. And he was like, no, you don't really Do like you mention birds? Get out. I didn't know. Well, don't bring, don't, don't bring it up. Don't involve me with that. that. It should be fine. Jeremy's gonna punch someone. <laughs> Is anyone here a ghost? <laughs> Dude, I, I wish I oh, was in shit. town. The travel thing's gotten ridiculous. I just went from Austin to Mexico to Austin to Philly. First thing in the morning, we're going to yep. Philly. To Austin, I'll be home for ten hours. Go to New York. Then back to Austin, then to Boston, to Austin. Now, and then we Austin? have two more ghost hunts after that. Let's take, Austin's taking up a lot of your time. It is. Just don't come back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, like for um, myself, Jeff, and Michael, we have like a, like a 5 a.m. We have like phone. six hours after this thing ends at most before we got to be on a plane. Yeah. Just don't bring anything back, please. Please. You're so nervous yeah. about us bringing ghosts back. If we We'd have to find go- one first. Yeah. yeah. Also, if we bring one. a ghost a back into time. the office, what makes you think Achievement Hunter won't get more views? <laughs> <laughs> or or they change it all. Right, they play video games, they're moderately funny, and they have listen, a shitting ghost in the listen, office. Listen, if a ghost <laughs> is so scared, we're going to replace them. That's we're what gonna I was going to say. With a ghost? If yeah. you're going to be afraid of a ghost, afraid we bring it back and it needs a death. A ghost yeah. is far okay. too uh, white. <laughs> that's true. I was afraid that I'd be the one that gets hit with something. What? The thing, make it, being they don't afraid. hit you. They're ghosts. I don't know. They latch onto my body Dude, or something. Give me my own hand. Jeremy, yeah. yeah. Fuck she came out Jeremy, me. though. Yeah, see? Also, um, the thing is, I, we've established this on Haunter, is that the thing that opens you up to ghosts is being afraid of ghosts. Yeah. True. So you're afraid of, you're our, you're our catalyst. <laughs> is that, you're a lightning rod. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're our lightning. lightning rod of because ghosts. Because I'm afraid, and you guys go to this place like, well, you know, back when they were, they had these racist guys running this shop, and I'm like, yeah, no wonder you guys haven't found any fucking ghosts. They're racist. Well, and fair oh, enough, okay. we have done a lot in like 1908 Alabama. Yeah. yeah. This is probably a mistake. <laughs> if I'm the go, I need at least like Fiona there with me to split the odds. <laughs> She's also a woman. 50-50. That's not split odds. I'll take 30% or something. Yeah, no, that's... I was on my phone. What have I missed? Something about Jeremy screaming, she's also a woman. <laughs> that's all I caught. Like, Are we doing squeeze her. play theater mode right now? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, I like how Christ, like no. Lindsay was like, oh, just stick with me. I was like, yeah, you're, you're, uh, I was like, you're white. And at the time she said it, I was like, well, you're white and pregnant, so... That Do not help. stick that with Lindsay on these ghost hunts. Me. The last time I saw Lindsay on a ghost hunt, she made a summoning circle out of cats. <laughs> that sounds safe. Don't stick with <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay walks onto set and goes, I just got touched nine times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is with, like, says they like her. Home. They like Lindsay. They like Lindsay. Ghosts yeah. like Lindsay. I wish the fuck they, well, never mind. I'm not going to say that out loud, but. Yeah. I want to have an experience, but I don't want to have an experience. No, I understand that. I get that. I'm yeah. getting disheartened. I think, I think the moment that I fell in love with Haunter was when you and I and Lindsay were in Missouri, and we put a very pregnant Lindsay Jones <laughs> in a gas into chamber? a gas chamber. <laughs> Where 51 people had been put yeah. to death. <laughs> and then we threw stink bombs in the room with her and locked it. 
and I'm sitting there just crying, laughing, like, what the fuck am I doing right now? <laughs> your, baby, your baby's got all the fingers and toes, though. This yeah. Is, this, is, this is my perspective, too. I wasn't on that one, so she comes back, and she's like, oh, this is really funny. So they, like, put me in this gas chamber, and they were throwing all these stink bombs, and it was, like, awful, and I'm breathing all these fumes. And I was like, is that okay for the baby? <laughs> <laughs> You're pregnant, is that all right? And she was like... I mean, probably. Right? <laughs> I'm sure they checked that out, right? Do you think yeah. they did? And I'm like, no, no not at all. Probably not. What the fuck are you not. talking about? There also apparently was a fair amount of Jeff farting in the gas chamber. I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's just separate to the stink bombs. I did, yeah. I love, uh, they recently were like, hey, Jeremy, we know you recorded some stuff on the thermal camera at like a recent location. Can you <laughs> please send this. me this? Can you send us the thermal footage? Because it was on my phone. It's like a little plug-in for your phone. That yeah, you can... FLIR is it? FLIR is what it's called, yeah. New toy for season two. you can two. just record it on your phone, like thermal imaging. And um, I showed Michael, and I was like, hey, check out this footage right here I got of, like, thermal. And it's you see Gavin in front of me, and he turns and he bends over, because clearly he's going to try to fart on thermal and see if we can see it. And then you see Jeff come up behind him and go, <laughs> <laughs> Like, in thermal, like, clearly outlined. <laughs> I was like, look at that. We got that. It, dude, it's awesome. I'll go show you it. It's pretty good. Yeah, we did, there's some shit for season two you guys are going to be excited for. We, we shot one of the craziest setups that we've ever done. It was like a three month long prank that we pulled off very successfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you talking about yes, the one we did in Northern California? Uh, That's yeah. Yeah. That scary. That was yeah. intense. That was where like we had to have a fucking like ambulance yeah, on, on set. Yeah, yeah we had Just a lot of medics on set. The medic died. Everything so was okay. Kill someone, huh? Medic they really thought we were gonna kill somebody. Yeah. yeah. I got. I didn't think we were until I got there and saw what we were doing and thought, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. This is. I was and like, I'm like, you get that room and you're like, where's the grown up to tell us to stop? And then I realized, <laughs> we're fucked because I'm the grown up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, keep going. Yeah. So, I, like, I love like you start doing things, and they're like, just so you know, they need that thing you're messing with to breathe. Oh, yeah, well, yeah like, like don't mess with, with that. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's a spoiler. The thing is Gavin. Yeah, <laughs> Gavin gets was... fucked with hard. So, <laughs> so we we watched the we watched the early cut of oh, yeah. the first episode. I don't know if it's the first episode. So we watched an early cut of an episode of, of an episode, two, yeah. the Melbourne Jail episode, Melbourne Jail. which is in uh, Melbourne, Melbourne. Australia. Melbourne. Yeah. And uh, which is fucking cool. And Jack, you, fuck you, first of all. <laughs> it was a good scare in that one. I almost but killed Jeff by accident. There is a point in there uh, that I didn't know about that I wish we had known about, where they put me in a room by myself. Oh, that was, and that I, was so I, cool. I, I turned that. the EMF away from me, and I yep. couldn't see. And I sat him back on. You had a thing on your it, head, and I didn't know. Yeah. But you go. We went back and looked at the footage, and it was fucking pegged and freaking out to every answer I had. I got chills today watching. So that. it's weird because yeah, we kept watched... watching Jeff in the room going. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Oh my god, I... did that happen? We were watching this footage after the fact of doing the hunt and everything like that, and the whole time we're using these EMF readers, which you know they're like the electromagnetic field readers and. They have that little light that goes from green to red when we'll this they come into contact with electromagnetic fields. And like, uh, it was doing nothing that whole time we were in this place. It was like this big prison. Nothing was going on in there. Jeff sits in this cell with a bag on his head. <laughs> and he there's has, a reason for yeah, it. There's a reason for it. We don't want to spoil the show, but it's yeah. still right. funny. Yeah, there's a reason for it. But he's got the, the meter pointed toward the camera. And like the whole time it's going off, and we had no idea until we literally watched the cut. They didn't even tell us. Like yeah. we had no clue that that was going on. They don't care. Fucking they scary. It was, that was awesome. Well, None cool. of this sounds fun. We'll die <laughs> whatsoever. They're, it's so fun. Itching to get Also, right something away. happened during that one. Oh yeah. And we were watching the the cutback of it, like the cut of and the that episode. freaked you out. And I saw because I saw something during it, and we had people kind of reenact what I saw, like you know walk by a certain spot. Try to recreate like what you saw. We're trying yeah. to recreate what I saw. And I saw it in the cut and instantly all the hairs on my arm stood up. Like I just got like these chills. Like that's that was fucking it. It was like yeah. really weird like to get shivers all the time. I wish I saw half the ghosts you did. They love Or Jeremy. felt half the ghosts. They I love you. Jeremy. I, Jeremy right, wants I, to punch them. No, in terms of seeing ghosts um, I think I've seen something in a, yeah. in that episode you're talking about. You and me. I in... got fucking something happened in my back in the sawmill, and then I thought I saw a ghost in another place, but it turned out to be a crew member. But me. you had that fucking terrifying experience in Michelin. Michelin, that yeah. Fiery is an upcoming episode, in yeah. episode two, in which I literally 
had to leave a place because I was the only one in it. Everyone else was like an acre away at least. And I had this feeling, I was like, I can't be here anymore. Like I'm gonna, like I'm in trouble if I'm stay here. And I had this feeling come over me of like, I need to leave, I need to leave. It was an area with a bunch of staircases. I kept thinking people were coming up the stairs, like the crew was coming to get me, but there was no one there. And I kept hearing it and I was like, I need to leave this place. And then I left, no one's near me, like acres away and I forgot something in the place. And I was like, I need to go back in and get the thing. That's how you die. It, no, it, <laughs> like literally I was thinking that. I was like, I need to literally go back in there and that two seconds I'm in there is gonna be when I get fucking killed. That's how you get got. And I went back up there and then like on the way out, I, I ran into a cameraman. I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. Like this is I, Yeah, That, that, was that really is hot. exactly and how you were in there the with me. Jack caves. was in that place with I, me. I was in the place with Jeremy and I, that's the, like, I, I'm very skeptical. Like I'm, I, it takes a lot to get me to like yeah, kind of, to shake. Yeah, you're boring. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And that that was like the closest I've been to like oh there's there's some shit going on yeah here. it was it really was, freaky yeah it was it, it was cool I mean it was neat to be like wow there's some well this yeah. is like a stuff. thousands of Jesus people died there over the last seven hundred years Jesus Jesus people? well so the priests? place <laughs> yeah, I was that, telling like, Jack priests monks I was telling Jack that the place we are going uh, coming up I don't want to say exactly where it is but I think it was. It was in operation because it was like it was like an asylum type place, mm -hmm. you know, like they we were trying to cure people. If you can, like, yeah, right. But um, it was in operation for like maybe ninety years at the most, and I think like eight thousand people died there yeah. in that ninety years, something like that. It was it's an elementary school. Up. <laughs> Jeez. It's fun. It oh, so no. that's where we're headed, and we get to stay. So we're making looking forward to that. <laughs> Michael, you got a little. What are you, what are you holding over there? I'm fine. Don't. Hey, Michael. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. I mean, I've been holding like... it for like 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I would. I would love to talk about eating food or playing video games or, or brushing your teeth. Dude, what you know what I was thinking the other day? My teeth, teeth are not clean enough. Food. What? I yeah, brush my teeth. Is pizza. <laughs> what? Michael. What happened? These teeth, they're just not quite clean enough, Jeremy, Michael. let me tell you about Quip. <laughs> My God. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Quip. Ever brush your teeth, and when you get out of the house, your mouth still doesn't feel fresh? All the time! Up to 90% of us don't brush for a full two minutes or don't clean evenly. That's Quip. 9 out of 10 of us. Quip is a better electric toothbrush created by dentists. <laughs> and designers to make brushing your teeth more simple, affordable, and even enjoyable. I wish it was more enjoyable. It has a built-in two-minute timer, pulses every 30 <laughs> seconds to remind you <laughs> when to switch sides and help you clean your whole mouth evenly. <laughs> I, I don't know how long two minutes yeah. is. And Quip doesn't require a clunky charger and runs for three months on one charge. <laughs> Brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist recommended and scheduled every three months for a friendly reminder when it's time to refresh and stay committed to your oral health. That's a quarter of a year. Quip is great. I love using it. I know it's cleaning my mouth effectively and it's way better than using a traditional toothbrush. That's why I love Quip and why they're backed by over 20,000 dental professionals. 20,000! That's a ton! Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash off topic, that's the name of this show, off topic. Right now, you get your first refill pack for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. It runs on electricity. That's nuts. How do I get such a deal? That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash off topic. First <laughs> refill pack free, free. with a Quip toothbrush. Getquip.com slash off topic. I'll do it. We got one. We got one down. One down. Two more. Two to go. Were you doing oh, two to go over from over there? there? You were making a face. I, yeah. I was. Uh, I was, and I paid the price. My, you did. Uh, I saw what you did. Do we so know? I think. I think a part of the special off-topic live is that uh, after every ad read, we do a shot, right? Sure. I think that's how it works, so. Oh. Not Jeff, not Jeff. If we get four, if four I mean, shots probably and a rum and coke, please. Every ad we get the guy a shot of Diet Coke or something. Four, yeah. four shots, sh All right, Jack's call, I mean, I can't argue refills. with Jack. Sarah! 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 Sarah. Oh, she's over there, no, that's not Sarah. Sarah? All right, all right, oh, Eric's got it. Eric. Is that Eric? Eric? Eric. Eric. Where's your godmother now, Eric? I don't know hey. where, I don't know where it, 
like in my like, head. Shut up. A shot. Rum and coke. Don't. And four shots. Delicious shots. Eric, I learned the other day that you're a huge uh, pro Piece wrestling shit. fan. Okay. Oh, wrestling fan. Ah. Yeah, I think we we need to talk wrestling sometime. RKO out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere. Fucking Randy Orton. He's against AJ Styles at WrestleMania. It's going to be crazy. All right, that's enough. <laughs> hey, Jeff, <laughs> HQ started. <laughs> not again. No, 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 no. no, 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 no wait, no, 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 no. stop. The show's already started. Hey, everyone. I will say, was there anybody here last year? Yeah. Yeah, that was PB. Okay. Yeah, no Thank more coming back. Guys, look, it's Wes. Wes. There he is. Wes. Hey. He's taking all your pictures without Bruce your permission. Own Wes. <laughs> he's gonna take a picture of you and he's gonna put it on his Instagram and That's he's true. gonna get likes off your hard-earned outfits. Yeah. <laughs> if you had an animal with you, John Risinger would be here taking a picture. Yeah, I think I think I know what you're trying to say. I hope you have Go a nice day. It. Go, Jeff, While go. you guys are preparing the shots, we shots. should watch the trailer <gasps> for hardcore. Tabletop Hardcore world. Tabletop oh. World Tour! We can do that! What well, did you think I was gonna say? I thought you were gonna say something totally different. Because I, Jack was talking about H, Let's all put uh, our HQ hands Trivia. Middle, what is it called? No one HQ Trivia. No HQ no Trivia. You're talking about that. You know who hosted that very recently? Scott Rogowski. Scotty Rogowski. Yeah, I don't know who else. Hey, Danny DeVito. What? Yeah! What? He, what, really? Danny DeVito with HQ Trivia was very recent. Was he? Yeah. Oh, what are these? So I saw, yes, like, I saw you doing this. Was it a pair of eyes and a tuft of hair? I Clean hope. Shot at the bottom oh, of the okay, screen. Okay, you got more. What is this That's shot of, by the way? Whiskey. Oh, God, why? Oh, wait, awful. Jameson? A shot yeah. of whiskey? Yeah, I don't know because, how you because I it. asked you, what do you want? And you said, I said something Eric, delicious. shut up. Yeah, I was trying to talk about what I want for wrestling. To be fair, to be fair, he was talking to Sarah when he said I said something delicious. He doesn't, he hates women. Well, that's why I got you the extra drink, Eric, is Ronda Rousey going to win the uh the WrestleMania? No. No, you don't think no, so? No, Be Becky Lynch will win, but you know what's you really important? You think Becky Lynch is taking yeah. it? Yeah, do you know what's really important? Bottoms up on that, and let's go <laughs> now to the trailer for <laughs> Hardcore Tabletop this World Series. Last year, we proved to the world that playing Monopoly could be a competitive sport. This year, we're gonna prove to the world that Monopoly can be a competitive sport with actual competitors. We've scoured the country to find the best Monopoly players that already work for us, and we shoved them together into the highest stakes, high stakes Monopoly this world has ever seen. That is real money. I get very excited about Monops. Oh, we did it! That was so exciting. The new challengers have convened to face off against our returning champion in the hopes of claiming the ultimate victory. It's a whole new animal. Real stakes, real money. $20,580. Beautiful. A lot of cash, a lot of cash. Hard-earned American cash. Woo! We got these young bloods out here. Would you please pay me $50? They don't know the struggle of Monopoly. It's going to run you $200. Beat $400. <laughs> That is nine hundo. Are you freaking oh my. kidding me? Real money brings out the evil in people. I hate you, Bruce. God, I oh, hate oh. you. Piece of oh. Friendships are all but gone at this point. Oh. Punch him the f out. Don't let him off the ropes. Trying to build a wall between you guys. I don't know what's going on. There's mind games going on, but I'm taking note of it all. This is anyone's game. With real money and their reputations on the line. He's trying to divide us. The stakes have never been higher. No! Who will be the champion of Hardcore Tabletop World Series? Oh, man, that sounds good. You want to know something? We were all in that. You want to know something funny about that? that? I was having a conversation with somebody about it the other day, and we were talking about it and realized I forgot who won. Yeah, that happened to me. <laughs> that, that legit happened to me too. I fucking I don't know who won. Yeah, we talked about we talked about towards the end, and I was like, oh yeah, this person. Like, oh no, it wasn't them. I was like, oh shit, I forgot all about that. Yeah, like to being as vague as possible. So uh, obviously Alfredo and Jeff are back. Like less than Jeff's two months hosting. Ago. Alfredo's in it, and then Michael and I make special appearances. I took over for uh, Miss Elise. Yeah, and, uh, Elise was unfortunately had to do Arizona Circle. She wasn't available, and then you took over for Officer Sweets because she had a sweet in the oven. Yeah. Uh. Lazy. <laughs> I was at home being lazy. We, we so did I a, got in there. <laughs> Texas law enforcement. It was good. <laughs> we did, there, there was a whole Q&A that we had to shoot afterwards. Very <laughs> loud entrance. Very, I did very a loud. lot of talking very about sweet. tabletop while I was on the urinal. Oh, no, you were. No, it didn't <laughs> Just <pick up>. in <laughs> case. It didn't pick up. But, uh, but like, you, we, we, you, do, you do like Q&A after it's all over, and they splice it all together. You see, like, the interstitials. And I just know my, my character I was playing during that show. <laughs> He took a weird fucking turn. <laughs> he, gets, he, gets very, he has a very strange backstory. 
All right, are we doing this fucking My, Oh, yeah, let's do the, do the, I need another rum and coke, please. All right, do the shot first, dum-dum. Do, do the shot. Well, I'm going to chase cheers. my shot with Come a rum on, and dum -dum. coke. Cheers. I'll, yeah, I'll if you're in the audience. Hey, cheers. Hey, 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 Jeff, hey. hey. Cheers. Yeah, no, you know what? Here's to two years of Two Jeff's, years and a week now. Here's to two years of Jeff Sobriety. The weird yeah. way to do it. Weird. A, a sincere and honest thank you, Jeremy. Next to creating Millie, that's uh, the thing I'm probably the proudest about. Dude, do people I, usually congratulate that with shots? Yeah. I hope so. That's the only way I want to so be congratulated for my sobriety. Oh, I think oh, oh, that was quick. I think in AA, when you get your, your one-year chip, they give you a shot with it. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you said quarters, you bounce it in and then pound it. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, uh, World Series Fuck, was a lot of fun. Wrong. It was a lot Sorry. of fun to shoot. And it was also a total... Ooh. Like a totally different experience being like on it but not in it. Yeah. You know? Whereas you and yeah. I both obviously played in the original, and then you were the the ref, and I was the I was the the bailiff, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> it's a whole different ball game. It, I feel like, as far as like your own psyche, you just get there and you're like, well, because you, it's, it's, you're it's, still it's, fucking playing. Because we're there. playing we're playing oh supporting God. roles because we're not in the game, so you don't want to step in the way because it's like there's a lot of funny stuff happening. But it's, I think we both kind of made decisions. Like, I, I based my character on... Do you guys watch South Park? So Have you I, ever heard of it? Yeah. You guys know Cartman? Well, the, mo the more recent stuff. So I based my character off PC Principal. So he's, I don't think I closed my mouth once during filming not. of the show. And that was tough. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I went into that and I was like, all right, uh, you know, played season one, took season one. I feel like I kind of have a handle of this. And this season is... Drama, like yeah, because Greg Miller's there. Yeah. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit! The uh, the thing that well, I don't want to spoil too much. Yeah, don't spoil it. Yeah. I'm amazed spoil it. at the amount of deals and stuff that went down and it how complex ridiculous. they got. How quick I heard there was it got a political lot of, fact. It was like spread. You had to Joe Chaos like, had a fucking briefcase with him with documents <laughs> inside. Yeah, well, we don't contract. talk about the documents. We don't spoil that. But like there was like you would need like a fucking flowchart to understand some of these deals. I don't understand. So, there was a lot of agreements and other yeah. things. And, and like, not only that, so we we have we have Chad who own who's whose papa owns Crystal Lake. We had Dante fucking Bosco, who's yeah. Rufio. Oh, yeah. That and, was awesome. You know, Rufio's awesome, but, but you know, Prince also, Zuka. Prince Zuka. Zuka. Prince yeah. Zuka. Yeah. You know, last Airbender, please. You can, you can tell the, the age difference. Yeah. For the yeah. old people. The uh, people. Then you, you, got, you got Bruce Green, who obviously we love no. Bruce. All right, stop no. it. Stop. No. Wait, we're, we're, we're contractually Balding. obligated to love Bruce. Then you get Greg Miller, Greg motherfucking Miller, who Biggest owns heel on earth. So good. Greg Miller, who, right, who's, the, who's the right? owner of a Greg. football team now. What is that? It's the it's the uh, yeah. the People's Choice Football League or CF or was it uh, Crowd Choice Football League? I'm pretty sure it's a pyramid scheme. Is, what it is. <laughs> is it actual yeah. football where so players the, go it, out? It's and... it's a 50 yard field indoors, like it like uh, like arena football. And the way it works is you pick a team that you want to be a fan of, and then every single play, they stream every game, every single play, if you're rooting for a Greg's team, for example, you'll get like six plays, and you've got to pick the one you want them to do, and then the audience votes, and whichever one gets the most votes, that's the play the real players will do. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was possible weird. to make an American football game take longer than yeah. it already I takes. I don't think it takes any long. It's, again, it's 50 yard field, so it's very, very short. It's indoors, so it's, like, I think it's arena league. Is there an offense and defense of yeah, like, yeah, real no, people? Yeah, and it's, I think it's, I want to say it's seven on seven or maybe nine on nine. Uh, Transformers. So the then entire have, season yeah. takes place in Las Vegas. Um, I think there's eight teams. Chad Ochocinco is the leader of one of the teams. There's like, really? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. How is Greg Miller the owner of? Kind of funny is because it's Greg Miller's game of the year. Greg Miller, no, no, it's so Sniper Wolf is the game of the year. Well, uh, That's Nickelodeon. <laughs> Fucking, have you seen the other thing Greg Miller was doing today? Oh yeah, he's in a, ESPN. A, he's in a, like a fantastic, or he's in a it was, Sweet Sixteen bracket it's of gamers. ESPN, um, like uh, top like streamers slash YouTubers. Uh, Greg Miller. Yeah, Greg Miller fucking texted me at nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> I got one too from him last. Night. Yeah, and he goes, oh, "There we go. Here's the is, tweet. If you're looking his, at it, this is his text." And he says, "Michael, I'm trying to win an ESPN tournament. Can you ask people to vote for me so that I can bring my reign of terror to a competition I have no business being in?" <laughs> <laughs> and I think he won. Yeah, and he, so he won the first one. So it was him versus uh, Sinatra, who's the San Francisco Shock, the Overwatch League player. Who apparently is a big deal, and he beat him. I mean, Greg came in as yeah, because Greg groveled to all his friends yeah, and yeah, coworkers, yeah, and that's I, I, even I tweet. I go, listen, Greg was pathetic enough, or something like that. I will he texted say, me. I will say, I was on a, I was on a thread with me, Jeff, and Bernie, and 
blaming Greg, and he tweeted the three of us. So I ignored or it. texted the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I was on vacation. Anyway, so okay, you got Greg Miller, and then you got uh, then you got Chilled Chaos. Yeah, who's, yeah, he, he's a Everyone wild card. Chill, he, he, chill chaos. he came with props. Yeah, he came with props, cool. and then he got Alfredo, of course, everybody's favorite Alfredo. Randy Champion. Champion. I've and, got a fur coat. And then uh, who, who am I missing? Bruce. Uh, I think that's it. That's I think it's it. everybody. Bruce? Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's fucking cool. You should it's watch it. April tenth, I think, right? Yeah. While we were talking about Danny DeVito doing HQ, I got a, my phone buzzed and I just looked at it. And this, this is from Millie Ramsey. I'm calling you out in the audience. She said, I played HQ with Danny DeVito in science class when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> oh, it was so damn. much fun. Ooh, send it to her teacher. I got then, in trouble in science uh, class. Right after a science test, I was hiding oh. my phone. I got in trouble in science class because I lit an eraser on fire with a Bunsen burner. Stop. <laughs> That'll do it. I can't talk about what I got in trouble for because my mom's in the room. That's I true. also, I also, um, in my chemistry class, it was my junior year, which is the year I broke my leg playing football. Yeah. Um, so the tables weren't really designed in a way that I could sit there well with my leg. So the teacher was like, why don't you sit at my desk? Like, Whoa! I'll, yeah, I'll just be teaching the class. You were the teacher. But the whole time, I was just pretending I would like raise her chair all the way up, and then I'd just pretend to hang myself and lower it. <laughs> <laughs> you were a fucking nightmare. What? I understand in poor taste. Um, but it was great until she caught me. I did. You get in trouble? I did the same. I didn't have a broken leg, but one time I got behind my teacher while she was teaching the front of class, and I opened a. Sorry, mom. This is in high school. This is 11th grade. Yeah. And I opened up her purse and I just took everything out of her purse. Oh my god! The class, Wait. And then I put it down. I took everything <laughs> and put it down. I went to the principal. Did you ever in high school? Right. This she is kind of. She had a can of soup in her purse, by the way. <laughs> All right. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta eat. Yeah. I can bring cottage That's cheese food on the go. In high school, like anyone, did you have like study periods where it was like you didn't really have a class, but it was, it was like study hall, yeah. Study hall. That senior time. year, no. I didn't make it that far. Right? No, now, not my high school. <laughs> did you have like a study period, like a study hall type? I mean, I had a study class. group, but I never went. Okay. But it was, like, it was like a class that wasn't a class. It was yeah. like, you just... Yeah. Millie, like Millie has that. She yeah. Has, yeah. It's like yeah. a 20-minute like, class so we, we had studied. that, but uh, there was this teacher uh, in particular that we liked to fuck with. And we, so during study, like, and so three of my friends were in her class when me and my other friend were in study hall. So whenever that would happen, we'd be like, hey, we need to go to the bathroom. We'd leave. And they just see two guys go off to the bathroom for 20 <laughs> minutes, you know, not question it. Uh, and we go up to her classroom. And fuck. That, that woman, she had, like, so she, would, she was really about recycling stuff. And she was like, hey, if you recycle a bottle, I'll give you, she had a jar of, like, lemon candies. Like, these little lemon tart candies. And she was like, you recycled here, you can have, like, a candy. <laughs> In high school. But, like... Idiot. I, I went in what there an, one What time. an awful yeah. woman. I, I went Stupid. in there one time. <laughs> Not saying it was awful, but I went in there one time like during study hall, uh, and I was sitting like by her desk, because she just wouldn't kick me out. She'd be like, this is worthless, yelling at you, so you just stay. She'd like teach her class, and one time my friend distracted her while I just took the whole recycling bin, and I'd left the room, and she came back, and my friend was like, hey, I want to recycle some. Can I get a lemon, a lemon drop? She's like, yeah. She looks over for a recycling bin, and she goes, is Jer Wait, and she looks at the door as I run by with the recycling bin like, down the hallway. And she like ran out of the room, chased me with it. And then when I got, because I was in her class at another point during the day, when I was in her class, I just took the lemon drop thing and I poured like a handful of them, but they were sour. And I didn't, that didn't connect in my brain. So she walked over to a lemon drop thing. She saw it was like way lower. And then she like looked around the room for a bit, and she saw me, and I was sitting like this with tears <laughs> coming down my face. And she goes, Jeremy, I'm just going to ask you questions here. Did you take a handful of my lemon drops? And I just said, <laughs> <laughs> she went, on this day, have you learned a lesson? <laughs> <laughs> and she went like that. <laughs> she said, well, then my class is successful. <laughs> I'll say that, though. I'll say that, though. Cut to Jeremy at Achievement Hunter putting the sour balls in his mouth. He didn't learn his lesson oh, yeah. at all. Shit. Then you went to the dentist, and he's like, holy shit, you burned your gums. You didn't learn Second, anything. Dude, that he dentist burns. was horrified when I showed up. You didn't learn after. anything. Do you still have that hole in your mouth? Yeah, there's a little hole. You in the put stuff. a hole in your mouth. 
I have a little, I, a little I literally have a now. hole on the Sarah, inside of my cheek. I see you're still there. Did you validate my parking? I did. Oh, yeah. Thank how, you. How about mine? Hey, Sarah. Oh, I didn't hey, Sarah, real quick. Uh, I don't need anything. I just think you're awesome and doing a great job. She's doing a great job. <laughs> she did a great job, but she did. She did validate my. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a great. That's a great cut too, right? Wow, wow. <laughs> that is such a pull for that. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite thing. My favorite thing is Sarah's uh, Twitter avatar. Was she wearing the same shirt? Is too? her as the paint spilled all over the floor? It's her cleaning it up, going. <laughs> yeah. So sad. Like, Trevor. She overloaded the shit out of. Oh my god. <laughs> Trevor has the greatest reactions to stuff like that because Trevor wants to be mad, but at the same time he knows it's worthless. Oops. Yeah. That's why he came up with the yeah, phrase. He gets, he gets persnickety. Right. That's why he came up it. with the phrase profitless chaos. Yeah. Whenever we're doing mm -hmm. something that isn't filmed. Oh my god, all over his pants and his shoes. Whoa. You get all over his fancy Whoa. shoes. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I have brown you shoes. see it in that video. Barbara made me wear the Gavin. shoes because she said it makes me look more like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you can see in it's that video where we're, true. where we're yeah. shooting the paint cannon, <laughs> and because it wasn't was it like a behind the scenes video where we showed the misfire and everything. No, like that? Gavin saw what Sarah was doing. Was like, I'm gonna go ahead and film this because this is gonna fuck up. And no, that was me. Was right. oh, well, I you? filmed I, it. Okay. Yeah. Gavin Sorry. and Sarah were doing it. I literally say in the video, I go, "You're gonna fuck this up." So yeah, I'm filming it. Yeah, within 30 seconds. They well, so basically, release. okay, what happened was this was the gun for the. Yeah, here we go. So this is the gun for the best day ever. Hey, this is me filming before the video. There. Cause, cause Gavin's like you Fun load. Fun fact: you that load paint the, is there to this day. Yep. No, but it's water soluble. Water soluble. Yeah. It'll come Gavin, right out. Gavin was like, you load it, then you turn it on. And Sarah's like, no, they told me to turn it on, then I load understand. it. I understand. And Gavin's like, I've done this You're nine on the times. Stage. And so, Sarah, anyway. I'm sorry. I was under one of the tarps editing, and I even knew you were wrong on that part. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, my, <laughs> that was a good cut. Yeah. Um, anyway. But. So Trevor has these reactions of like, he, he loves this one word. He loves to call people an imbecile in these situations. He also says dingus. Dingus he says a lot. He but like, that out I think too. that moment happens in that where like we fire, like the thing accidentally goes off. It sprays everywhere. It gets on it and he goes, oh, you imbecile. <laughs> You've gotten it all over me and stuff like that, but he doesn't want to get mad. Probably, He's like, it's not worth happen. getting mad. But Trevor like has these moments of like, oh, who the fuck gave her a microphone? That was no. <laughs> Why would you do that? It was Tyler. Tyler you got the fuck Damn it, out of Tyler. here. Where's Blame Eric? Tyler Eric mode's canceled. Where's Eric? We don't like doing fire him. him. I know, but he fucked it up. I think that they wanted the, oh. the posts people can hear it and the How people are alive. How I find that? Very fast. What anyway, Alfredo, did you go to college? I did. You did? What did so, you go to college for? I went for a couple of years. I was going to school for uh, dentistry. A couple of years. Did I mean, finish? what major? Oh, it was uh, biology. What you major? You're a dude. biology major? Yeah. And then I quickly Why? realized. And then I, I took a semester off to pursue like a. a <laughs> <laughs> Michael's watching the video. Watch, oh, the yeah. Left side, Michael. Your, your mic's on your left side. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to hear exactly what Trevor says here. What's wrong with you people? Wait, What's wait, wrong with you wait, people wait, is a good wait, one. That's a Trevor one. Kick off. What the fuck is that? Oh, That's charging the, the up pressure. the gun. It's just, I as thought they broke. As soon as the, the, as the, uh, right? Yep, just like that. Ready? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> see, that's a very Trevor response. Uh, what is wrong with you people? Okay, so you, you went for a biology, biology degree. Biology major. Yeah, I went for a biology degree. I was doing an internship uh, at a dental office, and then I had an opportunity you to You know, biology. And well, because, you know, humans are biology. Well, then I had the opportunity to do a contract position at IGN, so I took a semester off, and then that kick-started the rest of my Let career. Let me ask you a So question. you never finished? No. Oh. Did you finish college, Jeremy? Yeah. You did? Okay, so you and me are the only graduates up here. Yeah, I'm the only graduate up here right now. I graduated with a uh, bachelor in media arts and animation. Okay. <laughs> so I'm an animation major. Nice. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't know that. So were, were, what was your plan before you did video game stuff? Oh, uh, I mean, my plan was to do dentistry. Really? Was to do general and then specialize in endo and ortho. <laughs> and dentistry is biology? Yeah, like you major in biology for dentistry? Well, initially, yeah, in school. Huh. Yeah. 
Jeff, how you doing? Right, Jeff? He's fine. He's fine. You're right there. You got that? I don't know if I can read it. It's Millie. funny. Millie, can I? Millie is oh, texting. What is Millie Jeff? doing? Look at her. Oh, She's like, boring. look at her. She's her like fucking Gollum over there. What's going on? <laughs> ah, my father. Ah. That was intense. Oh God, there's a series of one-word messages here. Don't say it out loud. <laughs> okay. Uh, she says, "Oh, biology sucks. Nah. Uh-huh. Very boring." And then uh, Jeff says, "You can't say that." And she's, "Ah, oh, sh- uh, sh- no, don't <laughs> say that." Okay. But you so, didn't. Thank you for I, I, editing I'm it. I'm good. It's fucking funny, though. That is fucking funny. Millicent. Your, your daughter takes after you, Jeffrey. Millicent, language, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even language. It's intent. Millicent, your it's grandmother's like right next phrasing. to you. Phrasing. How about that? Phrasing, sweetie. Phrasing. Are, we, are we still saying phrasing? <laughs> thank you. That one guy gave me that fucking weak laugh <laughs> right there. There's one Archer fan sitting in the side. <laughs> Love that. It remembers me. Um... <laughs> Dude, I was doing an Archer thing for a long time that Cat didn't understand. Cat doesn't watch Archer at all. And like phrasing for me is, I always relate that to Archer. I, yeah. I know that really didn't start there, but that's where it became popular to me. Um, but I went to a concert a while ago. I went to see a band called Adelita's Way, which I really like. And like a bunch of other bands there. There's a band called Son of Texas, which is like a like really heavy band. Like S-O-N screaming. or S-U-N? What's that? S-O-N or S-U-N? Son. Uh, S-O-N. There you S-O-N. go. S-O-N. Yeah. Okay. You um, broke him for a second. Yeah. But I don't know if it's Son of Texas. I think it's Sons of Texas, right? Cat, back me up. Thank you. Um, so we went and saw them, and I was standing right next to the speaker. And by the end of the concert, also I looked like an idiot at one point because I was really like loving one of the songs, and I almost fell <laughs> because there was a step that I didn't see. So I was like losing it to a song, and it almost like fell down in the crowd. But like by the, the concert ended, and I couldn't hear anything in this ear. And for two days, I couldn't hear anything in my left ear. Like if I literally blocked my right ear, it sounded even. Like the ocean. And if I cupped my ear on this side, it sounded even. I just couldn't hear anything on this ear. So I made, kept making an archer joke where like I was sitting with Kat, and I blocked my ear and go, mop, 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 <laughs> like that. And she had no <laughs> idea what I was doing. And she was like, I think, I think Jeremy's going insane. Nice. <laughs> I would have laughed at that, Jeremy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank what you very you, much. What are you, speaking of Archer, what are you guys watching right now? Anything? Uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is back. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. I, the or, I keep it. fucking saying The Orville is such a good show. You love Orville. I fucking I love and Orville. That's My what? mom watches that shit. Talk to her. You by hey. saying Orville is a good show, we will not watch it. I know. Yeah. I know how, how it works. Goes. Yeah, I'm like, hey, Breaking Bad's awesome. You guys are like, oh, cool, fuck off. And then four years later, you're like, holy Dude, shit, this show, Breaking, Breaking Bad? Bad. I watch. Do you remember when we discovered that and watched that show together? Super good show. I watched that too. Oh man. That was a good show, man. Jeremy watched it. You know what I just caught up on? Walking Dead. Oh, are you back. totally caught is it, up? Is it, back. Are you, is has it gotten good? better? It's pretty good. The season's That's, pretty good. I I watch watch I I watch, anybody watch Walking Dead? No? no. A couple people <laughs> raised their right, hand. Right, right, right. A couple yeah. people raised their hand. Someone went, no. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Dude, this Be- last one. Ooh, to say, fear, fear the Walking Dead shot here in Austin. That's pretty bunch cool. Did you ever tell your Jenna Elfman story? No, I didn't, because I wasn't gonna talk about that. Oh, I never know. mind. There's no story. Oh, yeah, never. It's not even worth feel, talking about. I feel about. awkward being like, "Hey, guess what I said?" No, that's just strange, right? No, we talked about Gary Busey. No, that's true. We did talk about Busey. We saw him. I was not, so we, we sat on a plane. And we we flew. We were flying back from California, actually, from the ghost from, hunt. From uh, Jackson, California, yeah. and wow. we had we went wow. from uh, Sacramento to LA and then back to Austin. And the uh, the Sacramento to LA flight got delayed, and we had a super tight connection to make between Sac- but, but in LA. We had to run from like one terminal to another and get over there and get out. And I was so, like, we were just, just hauling ass, and I left my book on my plane, which oh, was super no. super sad because I was I was 50 pages away. I was gonna finish that fucking book. And then um, got on the new plane, and Jeff, myself, and Gavin all got upgraded. We got really lucky, got upgraded. And Jeff and Gavin were next to each other. And then there was a woman uh, in next, like basically across from Jeff, and then I was next to her. And so got on the plane. I was just like, okay, we barely made it. They were about to shut the door. We got on. And I was like, oh, shit, I forgot my book. And I'm like, excuse me, let me get my bag out. And then I sat down. And, um, and then I, I, I was like, okay, thank you very much. And I look over. I'm like, oh, that's someone famous. And I was like, I recognize her face from somewhere. Michael, you want to explain it? No. Okay. Jeremy and I remind me. 
And uh, I texted Jeff, and I'm like, who is this next to me? And Jeff texts back, it's Rosamund Pike. It looked like her. And I'm like, oh, shit, Rosamund Pike. Katie loves, she loves uh, uh, the... Gone Girl. Yeah, well, not Gone Girl. She loves Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. And so I was like, I was like hey, Katie, I'm Mr. sitting Darcy. next to Rosamund Pike. Mr. Darcy. Yeah. Damn it! That was Rosamund the only new Pike reference I knew! not Mr. Darcy. No, she was uh, uh, not, uh, not Miss Elizabeth. She... Jane. Jane. Thank you, Katie. And, uh, and so I texted Katie, and then... And then I was like, I text that, and then I look over, I'm like, don't you That's not in. her. That's not her. I won't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> talking, are you talking to Katie? What's that? Yes, I won't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, I look back, and I'm like, that's not her, but I still recognize her, and we started talking. And then I was like, I'm Jack, and she's like, I'm Jenna. I'm like, oh, it's Jenna Elfman. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's cool. And freaking I Darma, way, Darma and Greg. Jenna Elfman and Rosamund Pike look alike. They look. We very figured similar. it out, but they yeah. do look very similar. And she's actually she, she was in Austin filming uh, Fear the Walking Dead, which I guess she started last season. I was just gonna season. say she was just a nice lady. Yeah, no, and she was super super nice and really yeah. really kind. And like she offered nice. me some treats and like it was. We talked about Sakari all day. She had like she had this like it was called undercover. Are you a good boy? It's no joke, dude. She no. fed him like he was a little kid it out of her so bag. It was so good. <laughs> Jack looked like he was lost. And then, yeah. then she you was have a Ziploc yeah. bag of honey nut Cheerios. Yeah. And then she was trying to watch a movie and she couldn't figure it out and I helped her with it and I got it up and running Aww. and I was like, all right, but I was kind of like, all right, cool. I'm going to fucking leave you alone because I hate being that guy. Yeah. I don't want to talk. And so, but yeah, and she was super nice and she has like two sons and I'm like, we do internet stuff if wow. they're, and they're into video games they're into Fortnite. They, I'm like, they may have seen they're us. They're in the Fortnite. Know. They won't have Yeah, they won't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they they're in the Landis. Fortnite. Yeah, we yeah, know Landis. They know Landis. Landis big time. So. Have we talked about, I don't know if we've talked about it on Off Topic before, but like, is there someone that you would have that moment with of like, like, they call it like a fangirl moment type thing. Is there? I did. Is there a moment that you would have that? There's with three someone? people. It's or, it's Steven Spielberg, okay, uh, uh. Trey Parker, and Matt Stone. That's fair and enough. I've, for and you. I've I, seen all three of them. I've been from me to you away from all three of them, and all three times I, yeah. I panicked. And Damn. even we actually recently we had um, uh, Victoria something. I forget her last name. She did the voice of Evie Fry. Atkins. She came. She yeah. came to her office. Victoria, Victoria Atkins. Atkins. And yeah. I was like, oh, thank fuck. Like, I, I, I played your character the whole game. And it was kind of like, oh, that's pretty cool. And we had... We had the voice actor from... Uh, Lifeline, from Apex. Lifeline. She and gave us a line. She was like, Mozambique kid. And then <laughs> oh, Fiona and I were like, cool. oh, yeah, that yeah. was all, yeah, That was so blew cool. Fiona's mind. Yeah, Fiona, like, melted that. down. So. That was so I was neat. like, I hate that gun. But yeah. I love that line. So, yeah, but Trey Parker, Matt Stone, those guys, those guys are like my god. Do you have someone god. like that? Uh, yeah, so I actually... You don't was, have to say me. It's fine. It's cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I used to do, uh, work Comic-Con, um, with IGN back in the day, and so we'd have, like, you know, people would come over and, and, and from different shows and movies, and so it was like, okay, cool, like, cast of Harry Potter came by, I was like, oh, cool, he's short. <laughs> this is a wizard, Harry. He's small. And, he's yeah. a wizard. He's, to be, he's taller I mean, than you. I'm, I'm talking about Harry. He's not that short. So like, we had, Dobby's like, fucking taller than me. <laughs> Jeremy comes in all the time with a sock and a book, yeah. and I don't get it. Uh, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Free me, hey, master. Me, he gave me a sock. <laughs> Free me, please. Oh, Mr. Malfoy. I brought you what a sock. Malfoy, you that's, not not Dobby. Dobby. that's the other one. That's so weird and creepy. Creature? Creature. Creature is an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're both, it looks none, like None of them are like that. That sounds like asshole. me. Yeah, you so we had creature. a bunch of different, you know, people from like, you know, cast of the Flash and Arrow came in, and all of a sudden we started having like Avengers, like you know, actors come in. I was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. And then Samuel Jackson walked Ooh. in. I lost my shit at my desk. That's understandable. You were like, I was fuck, like, fuck, you weren't coming to America. Yeah, I was like, that's what? him. Okay. Look, he's right there. Dude, you you got to talk to Samuel the Jackson. Goodfellas. No. 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 Did he seem I like one of those guys? Because there's two kinds of like people that come in when they're like really famous people. There's people who are like fully in on whatever you're doing. They're like, I'm going to I'm gonna go for this. I'm going to have fun with this, stuff like that. And then there's some actors that are like, I'm above this, like, but I'm doing this for publicity reasons and stuff like that. Uh, when Wh I, which one was he? Uh, he was super just chill and just like, I'm yeah? just here to talk and so whatnot. So I when I... Was, um, was it when Stephen Mill? Can you let Jeff talk, please? I, 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 have same, I, have same, I have a thought. I have something germane to that. When yeah, I was living yeah. in Germain Jersey, I had, you know, I had a friend who did a Thank lot of you. PA work and the he PA'd a movie with Sam Jackson. Jackson, yeah. And he said for two months, Sam Jackson did nothing but talk about his dick every day, all day. <laughs> I love that. The entire film. I all respect he did that, man. Was talk to anybody who would listen to him about his dick. 
If I could talk yeah, about my dick for two months and not get sued, I'd do You tried. Really shut you down. Really, really proud you of shut it. me down. Uh, you yeah. can't have Minecraft Candyland every week. Jeremy comes in, he's like, my fucking dick. I'm like, enough. Jeremy. Enough. Yeah, yeah, man. We get dick, it. Dick, You're Save it for your streams. Michael, you so, got anyone? Or yeah. it's like, I would, yeah, but, I would assume like Danny DeVito is one for you. Well, I mean, Danny DeVito would be one. The thing is like, I never really like compiled a list of like, this is... This is who I would want to meet. I know but, it's a weird question. But one that like got me, like I knew I wanted to meet him. I was a huge fan ever since I was like a teenager. But uh, it, like last year at some point, I got to meet and actually like talk to and interact for a couple minutes with Dana Snyder, who does the voice of Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah. And Hell like yeah. it, like I've been a, I've, that, that is like most of my comedy. Like, like my comedy is, is like an, an amalgamation of like a bunch of things that I've combined, even to the point where like sometimes I'll forget like a thing that I do is like a shtick that I do, I'll forget. That's from a show that yeah. I saw 20 yeah. years ago. Same. You know, and like a lot of that's like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. You know, obviously like oh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. How I Met Your Mother. Stuff like oh, Big Bang Theory for sure. <laughs> that's Sheldon. He's a nerd. <laughs> but like I was like, yeah, cool. I love that show. It's awesome. But I met Dana Snyder, and it actually like surprised me how I was like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, how are you? And he was like, he was like a 20 out of 10. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he, yeah, was, yeah. he was at a booth, it was at a convention, and he was like meeting you know, fans in line, and I got to cut in and like talk to him for a minute. And he was like, oh, come here, man, take a picture here. Let me go over this, and let me grab it. Uh, take a picture on one, two, three, ah! And he would like shake me, and I was just like, oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> see, so exciting. I was like walking away with Lindsay. I'm like, did you see when he did that thing? That was so cool. <laughs> and like I immediately like texted all my friends that like, you know, I grew up with, and we all used to watch the show together. And I'm like, look at this, look at this picture. And he took a picture with me, and I'm like, uh. What about you, Jeff? That was cool. <coughs> well, what what you, author would it be? You know, <laughs> you know that I don't want to meet anybody that I admire. Yeah, right? Jeff, is, you, right. Jeff is terrified I of a fear. It's, it's a real fear. fear. I, don't, I, I feel like this is a story that I've told a million times, so I don't want to go over the whole Charles Barkley story and how it affected, honestly, all of Rooster Teeth. My, the way I, the, no, the way I interact and I do, and uh, I've handled the, this six internet success and stuff. It's all been because, because of, Charles of an Barkley. experience I had with Charles Barkley when I was 15, uh, 16, and uh, and I've told it on both podcasts, RT and this one. So I'm not going to rehash an old story. But the way I look at it is, uh, and by the way, it would be David Lynch or Howard Stern would be the two people in the world that I want to meet the least. Totally fair enough. Because yeah. they're two people that I like the most. The best thing you can hope for in that situation is that you don't embarrass yourself. You're not going to become friends. If I met Howard Stern and I said, hey, Howard, I love you. Keep it up or whatever. We're not going to be buddies. We're not going to go get drinks. He's not going to call me to play basketball on the weekend. But he might. But, so the best thing I can do is have an interaction where he goes, <laughs> okay. And I go, <laughs> good to meet you. And then I leave. <laughs> best the best case scenario is he doesn't all The worst thing that could happen is I could never listen to Howard Stern again. Because I turn on the radio and I go, oh, I remember that time I shit my pants in front of Howard. Oh. And I, yeah. turn it off. I don't want to ruin the thing that I like by meeting him. That'd be good, though. He'd probably tell that story. No, that'd, be, yeah. that'd be a nightmare, though, yeah. Yeah. if you heard that story. So like, if the ceiling is not embarrass yourself, and I embarrass myself on the best of days, the floor is so low. I don't want to find it. That's what I'm so I'd rather just never meet anybody I admire. Jeremy, who's hang out with you guys? Well, so I had a moment uh, fairly recently, and I'm already saying this because Bernie already spoiled oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, but we had uh, Dave Bautista in the Ooh, office recently. I didn't get to meet him. Did you meet him? I literally, I Jeremy went and it. looked at him. No, yeah. you're not wrong. I, I know I'm not wrong because we were in the office waiting to film something and we're like, what? where's Jeremy? And Ryan's like, he's tracks. fucking looking at Batista. Yeah. Yeah. And Jeremy's like, he's in the other building on. I was like, I was literally and we're I, I waiting said, for him to come I back. I sent Kat a picture of Dave Bautista <laughs> from under someone else's armpit. <laughs> That's what I did like, with you and Rob McElhaney when I but, met him the first time. But like, so the, the, there's very few people that I would like shut down meeting. Like I used to be that guy. I was that guy when I met Jack for the first time. Jesus Christ. No, Whoa, like, no joke. Bar. I was shaking when I first talked to Jack. And then you regret it. Now, I, now I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, <laughs> But like, I think there's probably three people I would like shut down meeting, and that's Colin Mockery, Ryan Stiles, and Mike Shinoda. Are like an absolute I'll shut down if I meet them. Like I don't know, I don't even know what I'd say at that point. But like seeing someone like Batista, who I've watched for years and years and years, I've watched him in the WWE and then like watched him in Guardians. And um, when we were there, I <laughs> Eric got to talk to him for a little bit, and I was like, you motherfucker. 
Why didn't you say anything? You could have met him. He told me I had a cool mustache. Dude. How many mics do we have out there? We have enough. God that damn it. It's so hot, to hot in here. Why is it so hot? Batista. You could have talked to Batista, man. You, no, you, I couldn't have. Yeah, I'm not you. You could have been like, yo, man, what's up? I'm Jeremy. I do Achievement Hunter. What's happening? But instead, yeah, he, yeah, he would have yeah. said we're hanging out. Piece of shit with the fucking mustache and pizza. <laughs> What? The thing no, is, why is he ever fisted up? And now, if now if Batista wins at WrestleMania, Triple H has to retire. Yeah. How do you feel now? I feel good. I told Batista he's going to win, and he said, hell yeah. How dare you? <laughs> Triple H, all the way. Uh, that's what I love about yeah. Eric. Always working hard. Working Hunter Hearst so Helmsley, but that's not his real name. It's Paul Levesque, but we don't care. Hey, hey Michael. Hey, Michael, what would a what would a second ad sound like? Oh. I was, I got, you motherfucker cut me off. I was about to lead. I was about to give him a The camera's away. already on him. You son of a He's already bitch. holding the microphone and the pizza. Why not fucking roll into the ad read? God. Because this episode of Bob Topic is sponsored by Blue Apron. That's delicious. <laughs> We'll go back to that. Hey, are you looking to switch up your cooking routine? Always. Spring into delicious with help from Blue Apron, your secret to easy meal planning. Ooh, I love secrets. Make healthy habits delicious this spring by learning to cook at home. <gasps> Blue Apron makes it easy to choose from a variety of recipes, including vegetarian meals Ooh. and its new WW Freestyle menu. They have an entire menu of wholesome meals offered in partnership with WW. That's the new identity of Weight Watchers. Uh, we make Blue Apron a lot. I eat it, I ate it last night. It was real good. I had uh, meatballs. It was yeah. it was meatball, and I had uh, garlic bread with some with some broccoli. It was very good. That sounds great, especially for Weight Watchers, because you're supposed to lose weight. Uh, well, I They're was good a, for you I and tasty. I was a bit of a fatty. Uh, Blue Apron helps me discover my inner chef and learn new recipes and techniques with Blue Apron. The hard parts are done for you. Cooking isn't a burden and e more. In wow. fact, it's actually fun to learn new kitchen skills with each meal. Blue Apron helps make cooking at home a sustainable part of my weekly routine. Because of my hectic schedule, filming, you know, hunting ghosts and whatnot, I felt like I had no other choice than to go out and eat more than I should. And boy, did I. Uh, to start making delicious, brag-worthy, not Matt, meals no. at home without the hassle, try Blue Apron. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit blueapron.com slash off topic. That's blueapron.com slash off topic. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Yeah! <laughs> what happened? Did you hit it that hard? Why did ah. you why did you do that? I was like emoting for what, was, what the percentage it really was. My into elbow the blue apron from and... floor, but you know what that means? We need another shot, remember? We need Woo! Eric add shot. Not I, whiskey. I, I need do, a, we, do we have fireball back there? I need a drink too. My drink's And also I need a rum and coke. Guys, my drink ran out. I Sarah! Sarah! Two will take Sarah! Sarah! My drink not, ran out! Sarah! Sarah! We need four fire, four uh, fireballs, uh, uh, three rum and cokes. There's no fireball. I look. Trust me. Get I something peruse to something that bar. tastier than whiskey. We're for getting a shot. into. No, oh, there's like deep eddies. Yeah, Who yeah. Who took deep... your microphone? Where she doesn't trust me. I swear to God, Sarah doesn't need Sarah, one. Sarah, shots of deep eddies lemonade. Yeah, that's gonna be good. This is very yes, course. Yes, shot. we need four shots and four drinks. No, Sarah. I'm like a juice box. <laughs> Get your fucking shine, Bob. Sarah's not doing herself any favors here. We're trying to be nice, and she's fighting Jeff, back. What is it like to be sober right now? It's all right. It's chill. All right. Sounds, it's a little boring. That boring. Yeah. It's still <laughs> boring. I'm a little, your fucking I'm, little clip oh, is not on your ear. We're losing Jerry. Did I lose it? You know yeah. where to go? It's like floating. Oh, now it's on. Now it's on. Alfredo, what Dude, is this I little patch in the back of your head? Yeah. Okay. I've seen oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, have, do you have like okay. the, Do you have the the dude from uh, the daily? Or was it Talk Soup? Who wasn't what? John Hinson? Oh! John Hinson. Do you have the John Hinson white patch there, or is that? You talking about no, I went Michael? to the. I went to the doctor. It's like what, alopecia or something like that. It's like a little bit of immune deficiency oh, type thing. But oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Propecia? You have immune deficiency? You have AIDS? No, not AIDS. <laughs> oh. Just HIV. But I'll get you. What the fuck is going on what here? What is happening? Jeremy's losing his okay. mind. Hey, what? Michael, can you get a hand? I'm going to Taco Bell later. Jeremy! 
Are we this, this, are we putting this in drink orders for Diet Coke? Coke? Yeah. This, yeah. Hey, hey, hey Sarah, 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 can you get Jeff a Diet Sarah? Coke? Sarah? Sarah? Can you get a Diet Coke? We need a Diet Coke for hey, Jeff. Sarah? Don't walk in front of the camera, God Sarah. God damn it, Sarah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Fuck now, up. I will say, I will say, this. we've taken Sarah out of her element because she's not at her desk watching us on the security That is camera. true. She's, okay. not, she's, not. Right, wait. she's got a monitor. Do you hear her? Press tap. Yes, she does. Thank you, Sarah. She watches us on our camera. I walked in. I'm going to bring our camera up right now. I looked at your monitor, and it was the room, and I was like, that's serial killer shit right there. She's like this. I'll be. So we, we walk in during the middle of our recording. you walk in at all of our recordings. So we we have a camera. We have a camera set up in our office at all times. That uh, for Sarah, so for if, if something if shenanigans happen while we're not filming, we have backup of it. That camera doesn't record audio; it's just video. Thank because God. Because we'd Sarah all watch it constantly. If it had audio, none of us would be here today. That's what are true. You doing? I don't know. I'm just. It's just. I'm doing hang on, trades. I'm, I'm, making, I'm gonna bring up our hey, camera. I want to talk about it. And Jack brought it he's up. Losing it. Hey, 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 what happened? Hey, hey cat. What happened? Redbeard. You. Please, Please make sure he gets on the plane. <laughs> He's <laughs> hunting he's ghosts. Ghosts. Tomorrow ghost night we're hunting ghosts. Cat, you're taking me to Taco Bell? Take him to Taco Go Bell off. and then take him to Say airport. Yes. It was a slight head Jack, nod. You Jeremy. started to talk about. I'm getting our camera up. Wait, so hang on. Let's do this. Yeah, Check yeah, yeah. him out. What is this shot? Spot. All right. Yeah, I still, I don't, it's still like a little bit of a zoom in. Oh, yeah, there's us dancing to Hotline Bling. No, shot. hang on. We got to get to the bottom of this part. No, you don't. What drink is Can you zoom it? Zoom. You hired. What are you he's doing? Out of, out of. Oh, that's Zoom. our office. This is our office right now. You're not zooming. They don't have Zoom. That's the opposite way. <laughs> there Back, we go. What are you that's doing? literally our office right now. So that's great. No, don't what, if, what if it was just Matt Bragg jacking off? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like you know three out of five days a week. Yeah. Uh, um, Jack, you started asking Alfredo about. This little patch on the back of the Oh, camera. yeah, yeah, Alfredo. Oh, you're talking about his bald spot. Oh, yeah. how the fuck did they get that camera? Where'd that come from? <laughs> oh, right there. Okay, no, no. Al Lean down. It's like this was set up. It, Lean down. It's bad. Go to that camera. Look at that spot. Look, Look at that. that. He's Do got... you have mange? No. Oh, oh yeah. So that, what, that's what, herpes. Go for it. So I went to the doctter and what's hey, hey, Alfredo, real quick, little... before you do that. Cheers. Cheers. God damn it. Cheers. Prost. Prost, keep us. Uh, this skull. is my second vodka drink. I'm on the my Sarah's one year third anniversary. Third year. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say? That was my make here. it to year two. People don't understand it. They, they say it's hard. It's hard to be around alcoholic. Uh, alcoholic after you're an alcoholic. Uh, it's hard to like stay straight and stuff. You guys keep. <laughs> you guys <laughs> make me not want to drink Jeff, so much. Jeff, you're we're welcome. here to help. You have done that. You guys every day do be the greatest. We're favor, your support just by system. Being yourselves. We are your and support I'm like, system. Oh, thank God. Listen, you're Jeremy screaming about Taco Bell. There has Bell, never been go, motivation oh, man, as great as looking at us. <laughs> Jeremy, that's why we exist. Katie why? is asking, can they show the screen this? They can show that. Yes, they can. Why are you showing that? I, Katie asked me if they could what show the screen. What is it? Your penis? Sure. What is it's, this? It's, it's, it's a, a photo. photo. It's a picture of little little baby Jeremy. Okay. Little baby Jeremy. Oh, that was when Jeremy was a loser it. and yeah, he waited in line to meet Jack. Hey, who do I, who do I send? <laughs> I'll tell this. In who a do second. I send an image Mr. to? Mr. Jones. Dennis. <laughs> Father of two. Ben? Whoa. They're gonna make out. They're gonna make right. out. Do it. Oh, here it goes. Who, who am I sending this to? Send it to Michael Lindblad. Michael, okay. Don't Lindblad. send it to me. They send it to Michael Lindblad. Michael Captain Lindblad. Michael Lindblad. I'm Michael. I got there first. He's Michael Lindblad. You have to say the whole thing. It is true. That is, it's a, it's company etiquette. Yeah. Why do you think we call Matt Bragg Matt Bragg? Matt Bragg. Matt Bragg. We're gonna confuse him with Matt Bragg. What Jack is showing now. Give me two seconds to fucking. A photo. Where'd it go? Jeremy is fully erect in the photo. Oh, is that Jeremy in the fucking mirror dick photo? It is. No, 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 no. No, no. oh, you think I oh, almost did that with again? The, with the I almost dick tweeted my dick again the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game. It is. No, I tweeted a photo the other day. Uh, <laughs> my dad just texted Alfredo. Looks like he has ringworms. <laughs> He's trying to be helpful. He's trying to be helpful. Okay. He'll, be just, okay. he'll take you to the doctors. <laughs> it's it's a thing. He'll take you to the doctors and he'll bake you some cookies. All right. Oh. And we'll get, here's the deal. So Tomorrow morning, we'll get you a parvo shot. You'll be fine. It'll be good. Look, 
There's this thing that happens to your body when you get close to turning 30. Shit starts to shut down. I was sailing past 30. Anyways, I went to a dermatologist. It's uh, alopecia. It's like a little bit of a, like an immune deficiency type thing. So you're gonna die soon. Great. Oh no, you've got a tiny bald spot. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. You can't see it through that mesh side. <laughs> Let me point I, this out. I can if see I start it. to grow my hair back, this and this won't show up for work. I'm just gonna point that out. You what did. the fuck was I talking about before Pat uh, Patillo? You uh, said something about me and like when I- You're talking about meeting Jack, the photo. Okay. You got gonna... ringworm? Hey, that photo right there. Oh, look at little baby Jerry. What do you okay. on that one? That is me, my future wife, all right, meeting Jack in RTX in 2014. Uh, this Loser. is before I got hired. We, all right, so we showed up, right? Mm -hmm. And this was the year, I don't know if you remember, but like the backdrops were all the Minecraft. Yeah, houses, there were six right? of us then, yeah, yeah. And uh, what, what was kind of rough about that is people would wait in line like the whole day. It was like eight hours. People would wait in line for eight hours like, to get literally. one person. And they yeah. would wait in line eight hours, and some of them only got to meet Jack. Yeah. No, was... He's not wrong, because it's like, <laughs> you would wait in line. You'd see Michael and Gavin there, right? And you'd be waiting in line hour after hour after hour. You'd get to the front, and then Michael and Gavin aren't there anymore, because they're filming Play Pals live well, on Well, Play the Pals page. didn't exist then. So they're not... Yeah, we didn't have the, like... These signing times that we have now. So, yeah, you Kat right and past I, that. So, Cat and I got to RTX. I know you're covering your face in terms of me, but that's fine. No, it was a Jack thing. He's I, I got said it. something. You, you Michael Jeremy enjoyed it. Enjoy this. Just keep steamrolling through. You Don't worry it. about it. You're good. Love They're it. listening. Cat and I got to RTX 2014, and I'm like, the first thing we have to do is go to the Achievement Hunter Lounge. That's what it was called. We're it like, so we bad. have to. No, no, no. To go it wasn't there. a lounge. That was just. It was just a wall. That it was, was just that's what they called it. it. You yeah. called it that. It, it was the first. Let him we, tell we the story the, of his life. We, we had, he was there. He lived know. it. We had Assassin's Creed multiplayer, yeah, which did. was awesome. Yep. And I think. What does it matter? Maybe trials. Why? No, no. What is the lounge? Why is he shitting on his life? No, it's fine. It's fine. He's right. It's not fine. It's not fine. You want to say this guy? I met him and I was happy. We, so, Kat and I, we went, we got into line. That doesn't happen often. And we got to meet and take a picture with, because that's one of the three pictures. We uh, met and took a picture with Jack, Ryan, and Ray. All right, it was like me and Kat with the bottom when you, there. When you met I Ray, you when Gavin you took the photo. I saw you coming and I left. When you, oh, yeah. oh, here it comes. Uh -oh. when you took the Brace photo, yourself. did you lean in and go, coming for you? <laughs> I didn't. But what's, what's funny is I have like an old YouTube Actually, channel. I have an old YouTube channel that I don't use anymore. And <laughs> on that channel, it's a video where I'm like, I went to RTX 2014, right? It's just like a little video I edited together. And it shows Kat and I like going through the Achievement Hunter lounge and taking photos and stuff like that. And then there's a section where I'm playing the Assassin's Creed multiplayer that was right outside the lounge. I think it was, it was three, or, three or Black Flag. I think flag. it was four. Yeah, Black Flag. That, yeah. Yeah. Same game. You've got Same it. Same game. Yep. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Black They, they never called flag. it 4, flag. but Black Flag is fine. Be very careful with how you pronounce black that. Black Flag. So the flag. there's a video where I'm playing that. Black Flag. Tongue twister. And uh, Kat's recording it, so I'm playing it, and the person playing next to me is Trevor. Really? Um, Wow. So me and Trevor are playing in the same game, Trevor and, I. and I'm like, oh, I got you, you know, and Trevor's yelling at me. Did you know each other at that point? Well, so here's the thing. I went to the Community Hunter panel that year, 2014. Matt Bragg is on the panel. Yeah. Axial Matt. And I'm like, oh, I'm such a big fan of Axial Matt. Oh, God. <laughs> no joke. No joke. Michael has thrown his glasses no off. I'm like, I love oh, Axial Matt. Oh, my God. I've designed a shirt for him. You've seen the shirt. I did. I designed an achieve shirt for Matt. It, oh, like it's no. like Minecraft blocks flaking off and all and all this stuff. So I'm at the panel, and I'm like, I'm gonna get in line, and I'm gonna ask Matt a question at the 2014 thing. Oh. I get in line, and while I'm in line waiting to get up there and ask them a question, I look over and I'm like, Hey, you're reached, aren't you? And he's like, Oh yeah, like you're Jerem six four zero one. So it's me and Trevor. So Trevor's sitting there, my future fucking boss. Did he lean over to you and whisper, 
going to be your boss someday. <laughs> no, you didn't. I was just like, you're reached. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're a germ. Because we had done like a podcast yeah. once or twice. They, he leaned over and grabbed him by the back of his neck and then just kissed him. So I went over. Jerem. So I went over. Like, I asked the question. I don't remember what the question was. Asked it to Matt Bragg and all that. And uh, after that, I went and sat down with Trevor. And it was me, Kat, and Trevor. And we were like talking to each other. And we were like, look, you know, we just hung out for the rest of the weekend. Like, we went to the... Achievement Hunter thing and played Assassin's Creed together. We did a bunch of things together. We went to a party together one time where, like, it was me, Trevor, and Joel, like, hanging out. Like, Joel at one point was being fed drinks, which happens to us at parties all the time. And he had, like, a rum and coke and a whiskey and coke. And he was standing there at one point, and I was talking to him. I was like, are you all right, man? Like, are you doing okay? And he goes, do you want to take this? And he handed it to Kat. Like, a rum and coke, he handed it to Kat. And she's like, what, what is this? And he goes, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rum and coke or something. She's like, OK. And like, it was just me and Kat standing there. And Joel had handed us this drink. And then like, Kat had this drink from Joel. Joel walked away. And I looked at Kat and I looked at Trevor. And I went, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the shit is going on? We were at a party. Monty was dancing. Monty was dancing like. Dance Dance Revolution, like over on the thing. Barbara was there. We were like, where the fuck are we? Like, we were all just at this party, all these Rooster Teeth people were there. And um, yeah, I just spent the rest of the time with Trevor while I was at this RTX 2014. And then. Um, it's so fucking weird, dude. It's so party. weird, Is right? It going somewhere you, with you, this? Do you know? No, 2013, I'm sorry. This was 2013. 20... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, no, no. What happened in 2014? Start over. I'm sorry. No. No. Wait, wait. Okay. Who was there? No, I'm sorry. This was all 2013 because 2014 is when we got hired. Yes. That was 2014. That was was a cool thing. Do you know until after, uh, it was months after you and Matt worked there, after we hired you, I thought you guys were best friends. And I hired you as a package deal. Let me tell you something about Matt Bragg. Here we I, go. I don't know how I got It's my fault. I, I think Caleb was partially responsible yes, for it. Yes, he was. He got me convinced that you and Matt were best friends. And I was like, I have to pick. If I was like, how do I pick one over the other to ruin their friendship? And so I was like, we'll just fucking try to hire this both. Is, this is the thing about Matt Bragg. And I still bring it up to Trevor all the time. Where um, back in the day, <laughs> oh, who the is whole this? thing. Who, wait, 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 look at this video we got here. Look at this little Oh, video. there's me and Kat. Oh. In RTX 2014, look at that. And there's or some guy where, oh, there's the Tower of Pimps? Yeah, so that's me, like, yeah, way that is you, ago. Jeremy, there's very Kat clearly. Kat's there right now. With, Hi, uh, Kat. Jeremy has uh, hair and is thin. I think Kat is, is <laughs> Kat wow. has a beer. <laughs> Tower of Pimps. You looked great five years ago. Look at my little graphic. Assassin's it's, Creed 4, Black Flag multiplayer. Black and now we know. Flag. Like, yeah, there was like a Tower Black of Pimps there that Joel Gotta signed. Enunciate. There was someone dressed up as the Tower of Pimps. Um, but anyways, Matt Bragg had this reputation because Community Hunter was a he big thing. He still does to this day. He does. Yeah. But Community Hunter was a big thing, right? Like, yeah. It was people, a big thing well, one time ago. There was community certain Hunter? people that it's were the anymore. Community Hunters. And... Uh, you know, you would contact someone and be like, I want to make a video with you. I've got a video I want to make. I said no so many times. Right. No, I understand. You probably did. No, you probably did. No, like, I never made it to me. There was a lot of community hunters that were like, let's make videos together and stuff like that. If you contacted Matt Bragg and said, let's make a video together, you were agreeing to a two-hour conversation on Skype <laughs> where he would not hang up. And you didn't want to be the rude one and say, I got to go. I can't talk anymore. Matt, you would do the video, and then two hours later, you'd still be talking to Matt. What would Brad. you be talking about? Whatever. Uh, All of Kingdom Hearts? Oh, give, give, okay, give dude, us, give so us two sad, examples, Jeremy. so sad. Two examples. The first video I did with Matt Bragg <laughs> was still uh, one of the most viewed videos on the Community Hunter channel. It's the GTA Easter egg with UFOs. Yeah. Okay. With UFOs that. in the story campaign. I was like, let me contact Matt Bragg. I'll do this with uh, I did that video with Matt Bragg, I what and I went li- literally two hours talking to him before we recorded the video. Oh. He just wanted to talk and talk and talk. And I bring this up to him all the time. He's lonely. He Listen, yeah. he didn't have he any friends. His family wait, hated wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. He, he lived in a house didn't? by himself. 
doesn't no, have any he still does. doesn't, 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 <laughs> he he doesn't. so sad and lonely he does. yeah. you might have saved his life by talking so to I him did I did that or and really you might have been on the edge you might have talked him down from a ledge you didn't know he was on there was another there was another day there so was sorry, there was a while man. this team I'm is going to Jeremy save me wait let's talk for 2 hours wait wait let's talk let's talk for 2 hours Jump. Um, Wait, did Sarah but, get everyone a drink but me? You didn't ask for I one. Asked for I didn't ask for one. Can the colored one get a drink, please? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, can you get him a drink? How are your T cells right now? Are you getting? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's another video. I thank you have. for the people who laughed. It's a very funny joke if you get it. He <laughs> should rub his head. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Jack, you're red. Oh. Jack's getting there, I'm not driving video tonight. I have. I you know, have it. I'll, I'll I'll Alfredo, my dad still. says he was meant to hurt. He didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I told you. He was <laughs> He, he said, my, dad, my dad says I'm a listen, really good baby. guy. Listen, I can't really figure your dad's a nice guy. Sarah, did she spill it? Did oh, she no, spill? Sarah. I called it. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, no. Today, today, the rails. Sarah came up to me today and said, hey, during the podcast, who do you want delivering drinks? I was like, what, who cares? What does that mean? She was like, me or Eric? She was like, me or Eric, which one? He wants to know who he wanted to deliver drinks. And I'm like, ah, if you're making me choose you, because you're going to spill one at some point, it'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. He said that. I can vouch for that. And Sarah spilled one. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm not Sarah, but yeah. I, found this, I found this microphone on the floor. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Quiet. Hi. Yeah. Quiet, you. Hey, I'm catching Pokemon, but in between that, um, Jeremy, can you tell me about the time that you almost tweeted your dick? Because you kind of went away from that on like a three hour. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. I need to know. So, why does your dick appear in so many photos that you're recently? About to Dude, don't Dude, take pictures of your dick. Stop get taking out. photos well, of your dick. Recently. Get while it's in its prime. What? Hang on. Oh, my dick's not in its prime. I don't need to hold on and keep it under your minority. Dick in your prime because okay. if you look at it, you're like, oh, my dick is so sad now. It no. used to be so nice. I don't want to yeah, remember how like, great yeah, my dick was. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Boo! <laughs> here's, all right, so here's what happened with the dick recently. <laughs> I took a picture. I'm watching. Keep going. All right. You're Make fine. it like, we're funnier. Wireless. We're I, wireless this year. Hey, while well, you guys are back there, why don't you work on that third kid? <laughs> Jeff, all right. The audience I, wants I this to happen. Come on. <laughs> So recently I tweeted Fucking out a pervert. picture. It was uh, the, a picture of the scale, like, uh, you know, my scale. You were my weighing bathroom. your dick? And it was like, <laughs> how much does your dick weigh? But like, I took a picture of that and it was like 166 pounds. Fuck, that's a heavy dick. <laughs> Listen, you. So I was like, I took a picture of it and I was like, oh my God, I'm like 166 pounds. Your nuts dick weighs as much as St. Bernard. Like, I was like, I've been that since senior year in high school and stuff like that. I was like, so happy. And I was looking at the photo of it and I was like, wait a minute. My scale, it's, it's glass on the top. <laughs> <laughs> and it's black. Those it's are black fun. with <laughs> glass on top of it. And, I, and I weigh myself, it's obviously, when I don't have clothes on so I can get the lowest weight oh, yeah, possible. Absolutely. Yeah. You go pee, you go fucking like sweat out a little bit. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, I, know, yeah, I, know that I go in the morning, I pee, and then I run on the treadmill, and then I'm like, I weigh myself and see what it is. Uh, oh, and there's like, your dick. <laughs> no, that's the photo. Looks that's like a exact four. Photo. Well, so the question is, is the dick in there? You just cut no, it off. It's no. in the corner. All you can see in the top there, like at the bottom of the frame, that's my hand in the phone. Like oh. that, because I I weighed myself 169, so that's obviously a while ago. Nice. Because I was 164 this morning. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> but um, I I so <laughs> I took the first photo, and it was me standing on it, taking a photo of it. But since it's glass, it was it was a <laughs> reflection of the phone, and then my legs, and just my dick, <laughs> just like that, perfectly. <laughs> 
Now that and I discovered today when you told me you're 164 that now you and I are having a weight loss competition. We are yeah. because you weigh two pounds less than I do, and I can't yes. have it. But here's the thing: Jeff. I can't have it, Jeremy. I either got to sabotage your weight loss, or I got to lose three pounds. Here's here's the problem that you have: you're like a foot taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> like so, I can lose weight. I don't have height to lose. You know what I mean? Like I'm already a shrunken man. And then I just go in. Like, you'd have to go in and down. Yeah, you, should, you guys should be fighting BMI. You shouldn't be fighting weight. That's the whole thing. At this point, you should just do BMI. You should be fighting what? Body BMI. Don't Body listen to Jack. Body. He's spouting nonsense. He wants us to weigh Jeremy, our bowel you're fat. Or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. something like that. Who's got a heavier shit? It's great. I'm, I'll do the show from back here. Hey, Michael. Hi. What's up, man? Hey, look Michael. that way. Don't look at me. Look at them. Michael. Hey, Michael, can you tell me about Devil May Cry 5? <laughs> Jeff, tell us about Devil May Cry 5. It's a video game. I... <laughs> so Jeff, just keep swiping, you'll get I'm to watching, it. I'm watching Jeff with an iPad. It's like a fucking monkey fucking a football. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, there we go. I'm no joke. I have to piss again. I'm, you do that? I should, I should also. I'm Jeff, so, Jeff, I'm so I'm stressed piss. out right now. Can you just do it good, Why please? Why does Eric have a microphone again? Because I gave it back to him. Hey. All right, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, there was a there was a Capcom game oh, called Devil Lord. May Cry 4. Oh, man. I was a bit... We're the only ones on stage No, right you, you're fine, though. Devil May Cry, it was going to be Resident Evil, Wrong. and they didn't make it. Tyler Stab. I love Devil May Cry. I don't like Two. It. It's a great game. Oh, they're still... They're pissing in the back. Okay. I mean, honestly... It's kill Alfredo game. and Story. Jeremy's microphone. No. Yeah, just theirs. I want to tell you guys a story. Tell me a story, Jeffrey. From Tyler Stab to Control, <laughs> Jess Lonnet, Mariel Salcedo, Nadia Ellis, what and Michael off. Jones. <laughs> R.E. <laughs> off dash Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> Today, 3 501 27. Fixing part of the read, few grammatical errors. <laughs> This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Devil May Cry 5. Is he going to cry? He may. We don't know. We didn't figure it out the first four times, apparently. It took five. It's an over-the-top, action-filled game. Game. Rated E. M oh, M. For mature. Because little kids shouldn't see the devil <laughs> ever ever and certainly not in a weakened state when it's emotionally exposed <laughs> millie this is you now available on xbox one devil may cry returns i figured you'd know that because i just it was a previous sentence Play as Dante Basco. No, nope, no. Nope, little Nero. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, little nope. Nemo. No, play nope. as Dante. Not Dante Basco. Why would you say that? It just says Dante. Play as Dante. There you go. Little Nemo. No. Play as Dante. Nero. Nero. And the mysterious new protagonist, comma, V exclamation point. Ever need to just slice and dice some demons while looking hella nice. Hella nice. Yeah, that's there. Well, Jack, boy, do I have a game for you. What is that game, Jeff Ramsey? Well, hold on, don't get ahead of me. Sorry. I'm gonna I, tell you a little bit more about this game. We're still going, Michael. It features Michael. three demon hunters. Speaking of demon hunters. Here's three demon hunters. Each with unique play styles. Don't just, I'm not gonna tell you what they are though. No, Don't no, just no. destroy enemies. Do it with style. That's Jeremy's wedding ring. And That's six fine. skills. Yeah. We're good. We're good. That's wet. Firing. It's wet. Firing. Firing. Devil Firing. may cry almost, that almost just turned into Jeremy will cry when he loses yeah. his wedding ring. All right. Speaking of Dante, uh, love that dude. Got a range of weapons, uh, various styles, but V. V. That's the mysterious. V yeah, is like, a is mysterious it, new is it, protagonist. Is it V or five? V. 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 Like V for victory, I assume. Like at aliens that are like lizard people, you rip their heads off. True. Yeah, Robert England was one. Yeah. Uh, v controls a bird. Go! Go! 
and a panther. <laughs> At the same time. A panther, you know what that old adage, a bird in the hand's worth a panther in the other hand. That's true. Right? You're just making this take longer. Yeah, it's true. All right, a bird and the panther is worth three in the bush. We got 51 minutes, so I got time. Uh, At the same time, the bird and the panther. I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they're... He remembers me! Do we know if the bird and the panther are friends? They are friends. They're allies, I guess. <laughs> While reading poetry! What? All right, well, V controls a bird and a panther at the same time while reading poetry. I don't know why. It's a I pan, I guess. Uh, to see the, oh, this is a quote. To see the world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower, just watch hold it. infinity just in the palm of your hand. I thought that's where you put the bird. Doing an and eternity in an hour. Wow. Deep stuff. Deep stuff. I'm still going. But don't just take our word for it. Bleeding Cool calls it an elegant symphony of obliteration. Dual Shockers calls it one hell of a good time. And Game Rem calls it Devil May Cry 5, the perfect action game. So come kick some demon ass with Devil May Cry. And remember, games play best on the Xbox. So suck at other consoles. Don't miss out. Go get Devil May Cry 5 now to play it on Xbox One. Devil May Cry 5, Xbox One. Pound sign, pound sign, pound sign, pound sign, pound sign. Devil May Cry 5, now available on Xbox One in transmission. (laughs) All right. So, audience, what are you going to do tonight when you get home? You're going to download. (laughs) You actually threw it! You madman! That one guy is downloading Devil May Cry. Hey, Hey, Eric! We need four! Jeremy! Advertisement shots. Let me Jeremy. Jeremy. When, face. when Jeremy Someone laid down over there. When Jeremy laid down. When Jeremy laid down, I pushed him. I just heard. <laughs> what happened? So that we, was his dick. Do we throw the cover Let off? Me talk I about, threw the cover. Okay. I missed it. It didn't even have a keyboard attached. The cover had to be like ten dollars. That's true. Eric, we need uh, Sarah, we need four delicious shots. I'll take another rum and coke. They're gonna dock my pay two oh, weeks for that. Is cover. this for me? I don't know. Hey, Nobody knows. I Nobody need to knows. talk about. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thank you. I need to talk about the fucking uh, paper cool towel dispenser that didn't what work. What happened in the bathroom? So we're the dead, bathroom idiot. was a whole adventure. So we're, so we're, so we're all there. We're, we're draining our snakes. Uh, Michael so, Jones. Uh, first off, I need to point out that I'm almost certain we were standing wherever we were. I was at the urinal, and you two were in the stalls or whatever. And I swear I heard a guy at one point go, yep, and it wasn't one of us. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only one urinal and two toilets in there. Yeah, so I was at the d- urinal and they were at the toilets. We were hyping up them. I don't know. Cry. Then yeah, I walked Jeff over to the paper towel dispenser. Um, no paper towels left. Now, even before that, I go up to wash my hands and Michael goes, uh-oh, what's this? And he the ripped top the of top of the sink <laughs> off. Sink off. <laughs> He was like, that's not supposed to do that. And hey, like, this no, is the, the story we might tell still be next going week when we're there. not in the building. Oh, that's true. There's it a bar, a bar, a bar about to punch the us in the face. might still be going in there. Uh, we washed our hands. We went over to the, <laughs> to the paper towel dispenser, and it has a little symbol in front of it where you're supposed to wave your hand no. and paper towels to come out. <laughs> and I walked over, it didn't work. So Michael just started slapping it. <laughs> It was like the scene in Zoolander where they started smacking the computer around. In the computer. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Ad read number three. <laughs> Damn it. It, it, it. Hey, did... Off Topic Live. Hashtag buy your tickets for Here... RTX. Hey, Here's hashtag the... Jeremy meets Jack. Here's to the people we'll never remember. Spent with oh, the people we'll never fun. forget. Oh, yeah. Hey, Hey, dipshits, next time, that's a story for the week after when we're not in the building and we can blame it on the audience. I didn't that's say true. it. He said it. Ugh. We blame it on What'd Sarah. What'd you do? What'd you do with that piece you found? We put it back on. Put it, it back on. It worked perfectly fine. It fixed it. He reinstalled it. Better than I ever. fixed it. I went to wash my hands. The top came off. I put the top back on. 
Also, I walked down there and found a seat in the crowd that wasn't taken by anybody, and then I was forced to come back up here. Yeah. I, I, think I motioned Jeremy back to his job. You had an empty seat, but I think oh, I got taken, I mean, Jeremy. You stole someone's seat. Oh, no, it's still empty. Michael Why Jones, is that one seat I worked empty? nine to five. You oh, are like the only one that shows up at nine. That's true. We have two empty seats uh -huh. in the house. Oh, fuck, well, okay, we get it. Time. There's more. Oh, you're here, though. Yeah. This you're like guy. Gavin 2.0. My, Jeff, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you straight off. I go to a, uh, I go to a 7-Eleven every morning, right? Yeah, you do. I head over there. You get, get any? You get I any get P my energy drink, hey, right? You get any P3? Wait, by the way, uh, Monster has Delicious. a zero calorie energy drink, and they zero carb got energy a, drink. They recently got a green one. Fucking oh, shit. But I don't this, know what you said, but this yeah. episode, you said some, but <laughs> but I know Monster like the original beer. zero calorie is like the white one, so I get whatever I want. Right. I get the white energy drink, the Monster. What's he talking about? That's for Jeff. Thanks, man. I bring Jeff an energy drink every time I go to the I Celtics. used to buy breakfast. Now well, guess I, what? Now I don't. don't. Know my, my now I don't. I gotta say, I bought breakfast I for so. years. Michael, Michael, for Michael, years. I gotta say, Michael's second kid fucked up our breakfast. Yeah. God damn it. We used to get kolaches like three times Donuts. a week. He had a fucking second kid. Luna. We don't get kolaches anymore. Luna, That's this bullshit. one goes out to you. Luna, see, fucked damn everything. You. God damn it. I got my cheese and sausage kolache. Fucking have a second kid, I don't get my kolache anymore. So Jack is officially drunk. It'll be okay. No, but he's, he's, he's not wrong. Now. It'll be okay. No, he's not wrong. He's on the right. That's why you zoom in. Loud. You can't eat it. What's the so point if Jeff can't scary. eat breakfast? Why am I buying breakfast for these assholes? I'm there to suck up okay. to Jeff. You they just get free breakfast. You second kid and it ruined my breakfast. I'm buying breakfast for Jeff. You goddamn parasites are just plus one. Jeff gets breakfast, and then the fucking the trash fire. gets to eat, too. Who gives a shit? He's on keto. He ain't eating in any way. I'm going to buy breakfast for Jack. We had goddamn, it was sausage and cheese galoshies. They were so delicious. I ain't buying you nothing. Bread. I remember, so I remember, child back in 636. Is it good to Fucking, we're working God back in the 636 God building. God I'm buying breakfast God every goddamn day. You want to know when breakfast went downhill? When Jeff decided to hire Caleb. I gotta buy breakfast for Caleb now? I buy breakfast for Ray? I buy breakfast for Jeff? Now I gotta buy breakfast for Caleb and Ryan? They don't even sit in our office! Why am I buying a breakfast? It's a bunch of nonsense! Let's hire a whole editing room! Buy breakfast for them too! You think I'm made of breakfast? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Inflation, it doesn't work! My salary, breakfast! It's too much! The I, kid's cheaper! I am officially alone on a sober island up here. So anyway, hashtag off topic live. Dude. Want to hear something crazy? Most important meal Why do we only do this once day? a year? Now, Fred, we should do this more yeah, often. Quiet. Not, oh, not in Austin, though. We should Dude, do it in other cities. Let's talk about, like... Anyways, you want to talk about, Jack like, won old... over and lost the crowd really quickly. <laughs> well, that's that? what I, I'm 100% no. either way. We should do this like, anyways. Either. We should do this all the time. One or the but other. Not for you, fuckers. Yeah. Never again. You know what's fucking why I'll talk about a bunch of old turds? That's uh, us. I'm older than Jack was when I got hired. <laughs> yeah? Fucking yeah. kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't do that. Please seek help. Oh. <laughs> he recovered. Don't worry. He recovered by saying seek help. That's because he knew it hey, couldn't get edited out. Can I talk out. about something? And yeah. Yeah, please do. I understand. By all means. I understand. <laughs> this is like, what's you up, know, bitch? Shameless self-promotion type thing. Mm -hmm. gonna, I am a bitch. You're gonna talk oh, about you your talk, dumb. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, you're gonna, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you're gonna talk about your dumb Share. CD. Share. I fucking Share. released an album. <laughs> And not only, not only did I release an album, but goddamn, let me read number two on the, on the uh, track list here. 
Sunrise featuring Chef Mike Harris. <laughs> That album has McDonald's stank on it. That's good. Dude, that oh, album smells good. That cover our, our smells release, like a Big Mac. By the way, this is definitely an album that's supposed to be sold to somebody because I only have a certain amount of albums, and it's like, you got 300, they're being sold, and stuff like that. Yeah, but now it's got history. If you receive an album that is signed and says, I showed this on Off Topic, you know which album this was. Yeah, <laughs> But, um... What, that, that was dude, a, a hushed Mike murmur Harris, over the crowd. Mike Harris... Chef Mike. Chef Mike Harris. I asked him, too. I was like, do you want to be Mike Harris on the CD? Do you want to be Chef Mike Harris? He wants to be Chef Mike Harris. The guy's building a brand for himself. That guy can play the fucking guitar. He is awesome. He's so good. He's a man of a million talents. He's a man of a million talents. He really is. Including making the grid. the the, time lapse of him setting up D&D night at his place? Dude, he's awesome. D&D, video games, McDonald's. (laughs) Music, he's awesome. So, hey, Michael uh, Jones, yeah. before we get Shout too far, to you, Mike Harris, you're before awesome. Before we get too far away from this, Lindsay, your lovely wife, she texted me too. She so I'm texted me the same message. We said we're going to have a third kid just so you can starve. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Jack's keto. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you this about Lindsay. I'm gonna, we, I'm gonna, we, I'm gonna bleed Michael of his money. To, so, we so talk, we t- I'm sorry you can't go to college. Jack wanted kolache. <laughs> <laughs> she went what? on this insane Love you, path Lindsay. from, hey, you know, five years ago we're dating. Let's have kids one day. Two to three, yeah, sure. Two years ago, let's just have two. Don't steal this. <laughs> Water, Sarah. Two years ago, two years ago, hey, <laughs> let's just have two kids, we're done, that's it. Now, Jeff cut to, water. cut Jeff to, needs a water. hey, we had two kids, by the way, let's have four. Blue! Yeah, and I went, no. Michael, you're going for four. She just keeps talking Michael, about it. Michael, you're going for four, go for like five that. in his field of basketball I'll, team. I'll cut my dick off, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, I mean, I'll chop it in half. Dick off. I'll pay you to do it. All right, we'll work some up. Dude, so it'd be really weird to announce right now that Kat is pregnant. That'd be weird. What? Don't, what? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it would be weird. <laughs> oh, no. It'd be really weird for well, Kat. Hey, Jeremy, you know, what I saw? you know what I just learned? Yeah. You're not going to talk about it. Hey. <laughs> Can we cut? Yeah, this camera right here. Watch this one. <laughs> Michael's planking, Jeremy's flicking off the camera, Alfredo's confused. <laughs> Jeff doesn't want to be here, and I'm like, what's up? Whoa! <laughs> Who dropped this iPad? Oh, what did Eric, you... did we drop this iPad? No. Michael, don't no. drop, whatever you do, hey, don't drop Eric. that. Or Wait. my nickname for you, Fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> we've already, we've done all three ad reads, right? I'll be honest, there's three Eric's in front of me. <laughs> More drinks, more drinks. Sarah, Sarah! All right, wait, 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 wait. All right, hey, Michael, wait, 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 wait. Michael, Michael hold on, hold on, to be wait, wait. fair, we do need an end of podcast shot. Hey, Eric, okay. yeah, we do need one, you're right. Yeah. Eric, yeah. Well, hold on. We you there? Hey, we're not I'm driving right tonight's in shot. in front of you, yeah. Get Sarah away from you. <laughs> All right, she's gone They're together. now. together! Right now, hey, you. Yeah, yeah. Will Kofi Kingston win the WWE? Oh my God. <laughs> Yes, Kofi yes, he will. Kimson? He will? Yes. Kobe Kingston will beat Daniel Bryan. Yes. It's been said here right now, Kobe Kingston will win the WWE Championship. Well done, Kobe Kingston. Is that the Applause, Miz? Applause, please. Yeah. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, I don't know what the fuck. Why are you indulging this shit? None hold of on. you know what that means. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dull opera. What the fuck? how that happen? What just happened? Well, Jeremy looks wet. Michael's crying. Jeremy looks wet. Alfredo looks like he wants to kiss Jeremy. And he went on I need, I, need, I need to talk about how Michael's sending me. I need to talk about how Michael's sending me shirtless pics real quick. Wait, Michael's sending you shirtless pics? So- it's true. <laughs> what? Are you trying, so, to, are you trying so, to have a third kid with Alfredo? So here's the thing. I Dude, want my he's, fucking kolaches, Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. I have a kid with Alfredo. Michael, zero chance Michael. it's happening. 
Use protection. He's got it. <laughs> Alopecia! Immune deficiency! He's got ringworm! Psoriasis He's got an enough. autoimmune <laughs> deficiency S word. I got another one ready to go. So, so what, what used to happen? Well, I mean, what happened was, Oops. you know. Shut up! Are Jackie these our couches? Wait, 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 stop it! Sorry. <laughs> the colored's talking now. Uh, the post show. <laughs> hey, <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, the post show's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> you should so, be a first member and learn and then, all the and secrets then, and then watch it. But uh, no, I mean, Jackie and I occasionally go hang out with Michael and Lindsay, and then, you know, they have this little cute baby girl, Iris. And every time we leave, Jackie's like, oh my God, I want one, I'm ready. Like, I, let's do this. I'm like, hell yes. But, like, you know, we, let's, you know, let's tie them up. And you're going to steal, no. steal the child. But, you know, in, yes, in, in, in due time. No. Yeah. <laughs> in due time. Absolutely. In due time. Wait, so are you ready to announce right now that you and Jackie are sexually not active? having a baby yet. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Have you begun to experiment sexually? Oh, we've been experimenting. All right, yeah. <laughs> What's his um, name? Talking about day one. Um, Might so I recommend PrEP? It's a pill you can take it once a day. <laughs> oh, PrEP for us is loop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was making an AIDS joke, man. It's cool. <laughs> but, I mean, but Michael, like I told Michael about it, I was like, you know, every time we leave the house, Jackie's got baby fever. So this asshole started sending Jackie and I pictures of Iris, like cute, adorable I've photos. heard of this. And they got a cute baby. So, you know, there's a, there's a new ongoing thing where, you know, Jeff weighs less than me. So I'm like, oh, man. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Because you're like, so fat, though. Alfredo yeah, exactly. The, yeah. Alfredo yeah. is just absolutely gross. the fattest so of the like, group. Oh, I'm going to go a thick boy route. You know what I mean? I'm going to get that you know, thick boy power. So he's so. That guy's your thick boy power. Don't question his thick boy power. Question it. It's just he's like your Sam. Okay. So Michael starts I made all the ladies in the first two rows pregnant. <laughs> and That's the fellas. Thick boy power. And the fellas. I'm sorry, Katie. Is she still there? I love Jackie you. She left you she's here. Been she's alive. gone. About been left. three. Let him finish. He's talking about me. All right. So you're Anyways. pregnant. So Michael started this new thing where he just specifically uh, just sends baby pictures to Jackie and sends pictures of his new like rip bod to me. <laughs> He's like, check this out, nerd. And I'm like, I'm like, shit. And the funny thing is, I sit there. And the first thing I I don't sit there and go, damn, this is weird. I go, fuck, his nipples are smaller than mine. <laughs> and that goes. Your nipples are so black. That's our thing. And I go, man, his nipples are so pale. Yeah. He's, he's, got, probably go, he's got them ghost nips. Oh, can, can we? I start comparing nipples. Did we talk about this? Can we try to bleach one, one nipple and see what happens? Ooh. Try. Yeah. You I get mean, white chocolate I'm dark chocolate. I'm assuming it's the same procedure as bleaching an ass. Do you have the picture? <laughs> it's a oh white lie. It's a white lie. Full on shirtless <laughs> pic. It's a fucking shirtless photo. And he's no like, he's like hey, casually oh flexing like this. I do appreciate Alfredo did like, not respond to that photo. Oh, no, he did. did not oh, did he? Oh, did he didn't see the response. He said, this is uncalled for. <laughs> uh, he, but... <laughs> Would you rather Jeremy send you pictures of his dick on a scale? He's That's sending true. pictures of his dick! I, mean, I don't send dick pics to people unless I truly trust them. It's a pretty good photo. It's a pretty good photo, though. Jeff, how many dick pics have you gotten from Jeremy? The lighting like three? was... Mm. I'm not... No comment. Okay. Listen. So I'm starting a collection of uh, shirtless Michael. True dick pics. You need to trust someone before you send them. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you need to trust them. There is a bush attacking me. No, it's not. <laughs> they put all kinds of bushes yeah, behind us. There's there's fucking plants I don't all like these the plants at all. Listen, listen, but I'm going to stop you idiots before you Jeremy start wants to go to Taco around. Bell. We don't own the plants. We're not going to smash the plants. We're not going to break the plants. I'm going to break these fucking them. plants. You're not going to give the plants to the audience. 
We're gonna Why leave the plants not? alone. Who this owns the plants? I this him... bike is just I... talking shit about me. Eric, do we own the plants? Are they <laughs> are these sunset Eric? plants? Eric, they're unbr don't break the plants, please. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What would it be like to go There's home? There's no right way, but is gonna yeah. win. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Please Eric. don't break the plants. Michael, stop! Oh, Michael, stop. No. stop! Please don't break the plant. Oh, God. Phrasing. Thank you. Eric, can, I, you. can, I, can, I, can I ask you a question? Okay. Thank you. Eric? I don't like that plant behind me. I need this? to ask you. Yeah. All right, this is really important okay. for anyone. Who cares about wrestling in this room? There Good, are about three, something. about three. <laughs> Seth Rollins or Brock Lesnar? This is this is going to be the year that Seth Rollins wins and he beats Brock Lesnar, who will no longer be champion, guys. We did. Why are you That's saying thank you that? Well done. Yeah, thank good you. job. Thank you for coming to this episode of Off Topic Live. Can you believe how great it was? All right, so Michael, uh, Michael why, did he, why did he make it sound like it was over? It. It. Not over? Michael, that's another ad read. Here we go. Michael Jones, why don't you tell me a little bit about, I don't know, RTX? Sure, let's say that. No, I don't have it. You're going to have to redo the okay. Devil May Cry. I was just looking at it. I'm RTX not redoing the Devil May Cry. RTXevent.com, buy your tickets for RTX. That Come Devil May Cry was so good. You know what we're doing this year? Fuck it. We're making this year the RTX of Achievement Hunters. So if you want to see fucking RTX, if you want to see Achievement on RTX, this is the year. So come to it. What we've, the fuck are you talking about? We've got <laughs> Age Live. We've got two Achievement Hunter panels. We've got <laughs> All the same shit as last year. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> they don't know this. I'm trying to go for the people who haven't been to RTX in a couple years. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to announce right now, I'm going to DJ a set for an hour at the wow. rave at RTX this year. <laughs> John's going to be on stage, so Maybe keep an eye out for that. Maybe take his dick out. Pop, pop, July 4th, AH Live at the Moody Theater Whoa. in Austin, Texas. Wait, wait, Lindsay, what the fuck? Al, what the, what are you? <laughs> Lindsay just sent me a text, this you, and it's a cat jiggling his titties. <laughs> What I live with? Wait, what? That's the mother of my children. Dude, Lindsay, Lindsay Jones this. is a goddamn treasure. Lindsay, Lindsay, come here. Lindsay. Come here. You're Michael, a treasure here. of a Michael, human Michael, your kids are going to get fucked up tonight on Lindsay's uh, drunk milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. Jeff, you all right? You're yeah. to get, Jeff's ready to I'm making bold. room for Lindsay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get Lindsay. over here. Lindsay Don't make Jones. me ask again. Oh, get up here. Noise. Hold on. No, Lindsay, come here. We, we, made a, we made a spot for you, Lindsay. <laughs> One here. second, there we go, we're hot. Here, get on, get on. There wait, we go. Wait, well, why is that me, Come here, Lindsay, <laughs> Lindsay. No, don't well, sit by him. Have me. a seat. You're talking about how you're This is your safe space. This is cat. Hello, everyone, how are you doing? <laughs> Lindsay, I, was, I was looking at all the back of your heads and you're all beautiful. <laughs> Lindsay, where Lindsay, have you been anybody, for like three weeks? I know, it, I know. Did anyone else have a bald spot on the back of their head? I was gonna ask, but I didn't. I know you meant. Yeah, quiet. It was a. I know you like your new baby and whatnot. Yeah. But when are you gonna come back to work? I got another month of maternity, Jeff. Okay. I got some mom. Oh, it's just that I miss you being funny. I miss work, thanks. Yeah. I, I miss me being funny too. Do you think <laughs> Dickhead could stay home one day and you come? Yeah, we could trade. Uh, Definitely. I mean, you don't have to. Here's, right? here's like, the agreement. Okay. No. <laughs> Michael can stay home if he agrees to four children. Okay. Cool. Stop! Stop. Done. Go for, go Stop. for five. Stop. I'm the one doing all the work. Fuck this you! Is, this is what this crazy bitch has talked about. We have two kids. His name and is we Alfredo. Said, we said maybe, maybe two to three one day. We should got pregnant with a second one, and we were like, oh man, we already have the one. Fuck a third one. Two. That's it. We're both good. We're on the same page. Then the second one comes out, and she's like. Guess what though? How about four? And I was like, <laughs> that's double what we have. She's what are like, you talking about? Down. Wait, Not. what are you talking about? And her logic is, this is a real conversation. This is very she reasonable says, logic. But by wait, the way. what if? Think about this though. We can't have three. And I was like, I don't. We shouldn't. But Odd maybe. numbers are bad, Michael. Thank no, you. listen. I was like, a couple of years from now, it's fine. We had two, super close. If we have a third, we're gonna wait a couple of years, let it breathe. Okay, that Wins. kid, fine, Triplets. whatever. But. She's like, nah, fuck that. We can't have a third kid. We need a fourth. What if we go on a roller coaster? Who's the third kid gonna sit with? 
<laughs> and I said, what are, and I said, what are you talking about? And she's like, yeah, well, no, Iris and Luna will be next to each other, and we'll be next to each other, and then the third kid's gonna be by themselves. What, be so that's, lonely. that's fucked up. You know what? And I went, fuck it. If and you I went, need me, I'll yeah. be in there. I said, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Again. Obviously, what we're we're gonna be. He's That's fine. Three times. He's, he's going to jerk himself off. That's true. And I said, <laughs> "What are you? Pick. What are you talking about? <laughs> if we get a third kid, obviously we'll go with. It'll be the two kids, and then we'll go with one of them, and then one of the forty-year-old parents will be by themselves." And Lindsay was like, "I'm not going by myself. We need. <laughs> listen, if we're gonna have a third kid, we need four so they can go on the roller coaster two and two. That's it." Yeah. Michael, can I? It tell doesn't you make any sense. What are you talking about? <laughs> Michael, You're talking about a roller coaster? Michael, yeah, I, I gotta be honest with you, that makes I, a lot of sense. No! I, because you can apply that logic to a lot of things. Michael, what, what thing? Can I tell, uh, can, all of Six Flags. Can I tell you a story? I love my wife. Is she still over oh, there? Uh oh. Uh oh. So she, Make sure she's still driving Didn't we home. stop? No, we Eric didn't stop. Tried we, we, we're, we're, we're going until midnight. Um, oh. <laughs> like, nah, man. So, no! No! You say that for me! That's a, Stop it! I don't know what he's going on there. He's playing Nightcrawler. That's later tonight. For I played Nightcrawler. Yeah. That's how Iris and Luna were made. Now you know. So, so my my was beautiful, the, lovely, yeah, my. amazing wife. So we, we went to a theme park recently, and she was like, "Hey, there's this thing." Like, I was like, "Well, you know, if you if you go on a theme like a theme park ride, like a big ride, and you have a kid, you go to Child Swap." Child swap is where you go and what? you say like, okay, the dad holds the kid, the, the wife rides the ride, and then you trade where the, then the mom takes the kid and the dad goes, rides the ride, right? Child yes. swap, right? Yes. She thought, I love you, Katie. <laughs> she thought that you take your child and hand it to another family. <laughs> and you're like, hey, other random family, take my kid, we're gonna go ride the ride. And we're gonna come back and then take our kid, and then we'll take your kids. Then you, you know go what? ride the ride. It sounds silly till it works. <laughs> Maybe. You go to someone's house and take their presents, and they take yours. Why yeah. Why you turn off my, Michael's microphone? What the, What happened there? You can feel it. Roll around on the ground. Yeah. What? I rolled around on the ground, Jack, for two seconds. That's Eric. <laughs> and. Okay. And, that was a fantastic story, Jack, and I can't think of a better way to end this thing than that. I think we should wait. <laughs> that was not a. That was not an I'm exciting I'm not going applause. from here to the fucking airport, all right? I'm going hey, to sleep tonight. I don't know about you, but me and Alfredo, we're going to sleep in and then go to work tomorrow. Dude, you guys, we got, can, we got yeah, all I mean, morning. We, we can roll in like around okay. noon. I mean, well, Jack's gonna wake up. He's yeah, gonna, we have three he's gonna wake tomorrow. up in bed. That's true. We got about 90 streams confused tomorrow. Confused for a second. He's gonna think about, and then he's gonna apologize to Katie a bunch. That's true. He's gonna be mad about the kolaches I'm not bringing. I'm the. I want those kolaches. They were so good. They were good. Well, I was there while it lasted. You sure. were. You were there so for the beginning good. of them. We can't end it without, without Jeremy oh, and please, his tiny dick. Please. No, Coach no. Show. We gotta get Jeremy back on stage. We can't end it without Jeremy. Jeremy, 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 go in the restroom and find him. Jeremy, Jeremy, He's alive, everyone. Why is there water on your shirt? Say goodbye. Jeremy, come here. Get over here. You gotta end the show. Grab your phone. That's my phone. My phone's right here. Oh, is here. it dick pic time? Oh, are you taking a photo? Are we taking a photo of Jeremy's dick? dick? You're going to lose your phone. Oh, take your phone. Oh, no. We're rolling oh, no. this table. Jeremy. Watch the iPad. Bad. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Hey. I don't know. What Everyone, we love you. Thank you so much for watching. Well, this has been Off Topic Live. Buy your tickets for our chicks. I mean, no, Michael, flip this shit. Let's fuck, fuck it.